Feels good now, huh? It's, yeah. Cooling off. Oh, perfect. Ooh, what's this? For sale. For sale? Huh. It's gorgeous. Michelle, we've always talked about adventuring out in nature, you know, and camping and getting away from it all. I mean, that's how people should live. Yeah. Right? We're just free. I don't like it. Van life. Van life. Oh, there's so much room. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I want to chase light. Ugh. Walk around without a shirt, bathe ourselves in the river, just wash each other's hair. <laughs> Should we? Are you peeing? What? Can you move further from the van? I mean, Ollie doesn't start preschool for another couple of years. We have the time. You know, if we continue living in here, we could educate him. We just, no more talking, I think. Do you want to make love in the front seat? What? I'm hungry. All right, well, I got dinner from the gas station. I'm tired of eating at a gas station. I have terrible diarrhea. I'm going with this guy. What? You don't even know him. Bye, Brendan. You know, Brendan, I'll be honest. If we're going to make a big lifestyle change, let's just get a new condo where everything's really clean and sterile. Ooh, condos. Corporate lobbyists are descending on Are you hearing this right now? These politicians are like puppets. They're like in the pockets of corporations and lobbyists. Every last one of them. I know. It's lots of greed. I mean, we've got to say something to the government. Mm hmm You know, we should really move to Canada. It's like no one moves to Canada. People say they're going to move to Canada, and they don't. Plus, isn't that kind of like giving up a little bit? Yeah, I guess you're right. You know what I think? I think it's time for the reawakening of riot spray. You're banned? You know, think about it. I refuse. I refuse that. And the government's going to be like, what's this noise? Ah, who is that? It's riot spray. <clears throat> hey. All right. Hey. Dude, what's going on, man? Wow. Oh my God, lobotomy patients for Reagan. <laughs> and his eyes are hexed out. They were brainless. Check out this old sticker. <laughs> I love the Dallas Cowboys. I'm gonna go to the Super Bowl and have a beer. <laughs> you know what's changed in the Super Bowl? Like in the last 10 years or so, the halftime show is like really watchable. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's kind of unbelievable what they get done. Did you see Bruno Mars? Bruno Mars. That's that's what I'm talking about. He's incredible. About. Bruno Mars, the pop star. He can really play drums. And he they does it all, out. right? So I was thinking we do a protest show. I think we start with I Refuse. It's our biggest song. I sang it really angry, like back in the day. I just think a different approach. It's... But you complain that you can't see. See. No, but you complain that you can't see. Bruno Mars would take off at that point. He would go, like, playing that you can't see. Bruno Mars right? is not in this band. The point he's making is just like, all we're right. all better musicians now, yeah. right? Whatever musicians, however good we are, doesn't matter. What matters is getting <laughs> our message to the government. We are a spray of riot. Riot, riot spray. spray. Riot, riot, spray. Spray. riot spray. spray. Let's yeah. do this. You wear a blindfold, but complain that you can't see. Ha <laughs> ha. Tail on the donkey when the tail gets pinned on me. I refuse to get in line. I refuse to commit your crimes. I want to come in front of you and stop your lies from coming through. I refuse. Yeah, that sounded great. Do you have some tea? Like a slippery elm? Anything herbal? Sure. Uh, in the meantime, let's get out there and we'll just hit them with volume. Guess what? It's riot spray. This morning, just before 8.40 a.m., police responded to a distress call at 101 Northeast 2nd Street. Officers entered the apartment and found the body of a man in his mid-40s with stab wounds to his chest and neck. 
The air is humid in Portland, Oregon. There's an inescapable closeness that feels almost oppressive. I close my eyes and try to imagine growing up in a place like this, living with the feeling that I'll never be able to leave. Hicks, you want me to get rid of these guys? This is a closed briefing. There's no press. Uh, no, they're good. Uh, we had the option between body cameras and podcasters. I went with the podcasters. My kids love them. I'm Darren Blum. And I'm Dana Blue. And this is Forgotten America, Rural Footprints. A pretty good little tune right there. It's only been three hours since the body was discovered, but already this case is being badly bungled. It's important to remember that many of these cops are poor, uneducated, and bad at their jobs. There's an old saying in this part of the country, and it goes like this. I can't read. Sheriff Hicks was visibly upset. You would be too if you had a dead homosexual on your hands. Nobody said anything about the victim being gay. Uh, well, did he wear women's clothing? Uh, no. Uh, did he collect old padlocks? No. Did he bury treasure? Did he talk like voice? I'm pretty sure that he didn't. And it was the first clue we had that the story we were telling was actually interesting. You wait until the sentence is done before you start playing music. Uh, sir, can you make your phone ring? You want me to call my phone? Yeah. There you go. Uh, phones are ringing, but no one was answering. Could it be that we were the only ones interested in solving the case? This is enough. You guys... Support for Forgotten America Rural Footprints comes from Blue Apron. Blue Apron delivers farm fresh and perfectly portioned ingredients and step-by-step -step recipes so you can make incredible meals at home. Go to blueapron.com to find out more. His eyes look haggard and wrinkled. They look like paper bags that have been crinkled up and thrown down on the ground. And people stepped on them. Hicks, we found some old spoons and painted dolls at the crime scene. It's obviously these two who put it there. You guys know that tampering with an investigation is very illegal, right? What is this? Well, as a matter of fact, is there any room in the DNA fridge? Now, are you guys ready to confront the city? Yeah. Okay, where are we gonna play? City Hall? I think Pioneer Square, someplace public. Oh, Pioneer Square. You really wanna do it so that, like, everyone is affected immediately. Yeah. Bring the noise. We are Riot Spray! Oi, 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 Riot Spray! Wah! Right? You guys wanna ride with me? Carpool? I got racquetball at eight, so I'm just gonna... And I gotta pick up Mabel now, and she's got swimming class. I need my space. Uh, all right, so we'll all meet there. You guys ready? Ready. Riot spray! Yeah! Teach the city how to think. Ah! Deal with the spray! All right, you guys there? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm here. Roger that, I hear you fine. Now remember, if the cops try to shut us down, keep... Plane. We have a message. You're not going to take the 405? I like the Broadway Bridge. I say Hawthorne or Burnside. I just don't want us to get separated. Riot spray! I refuse! What am I refusing again? Complacency, conformity. When I was younger, I didn't like anything. Now I like a lot of stuff. Can we swing by the REI on our way? Oh, man, I love REI. Guys, no pulling over. Okay. Hey, Ethel. Hey, thanks for the hydrangea advice. Yeah, I changed the pH in the soil and the color popped. Why are you talking to that lady? You guys, we could have taken one car the way we used to do it. Hey, we're trying to find where we are. I know where we are, this Pioneer Square right there. Have you ever eaten at Snarky's? Uh, you guys, do we want to play or do we not want to play? Hey guys, why don't we just play right there? Look at that. Where? In the parking lot? Why don't we just go back to our original plan? If we just keep going, see if we could play like where there's more of a public. And if I lead the way, if I'm driving first, Whoa. right? Then you guys can all follow. We park, we unload, boom. We play our songs right away. This is incredible. I know, look at this. Spike, come here, check this out. Guys, 
He's gonna love these. What are you doing? You've just stopped everything. Is this a for sale or you just have, just have to look at it? I gotta get this, it's my deck guy. What do you, do you even wanna do this, Brendan? Hey, Mark. We had a mission, right? To get the city off its ass and the city has just won. Hold on, Mark. They're winning by us doing nothing. What are we looking at? Compasses? I mean, forget it. Just forget the whole thing. I, I counted on you guys, huh? Where are you going? I'm going to Canada. That's where I should have gone in the first place, where I belong. Well, I know what we should do. Let's have a long lunch. Snarkies, anyone? Come in. Oi! Here it is, same as always. I can't believe I've never met your family before. Well, I can't believe they arranged this dinner for Nina at the country house. I mean, we live in the city. Make it easy. Oh, the old summer house. Make yourself at home. My great hoop papa bought the property from the county buffoon in the 1930s. Built this cabin with his own two hands. He used melting peanut butter as cement. Was that common in the 1930s? <sighs> well, I think they were just copying Popeye cartoons back then. You know, food is solution. They were so stupid back then. What's that? Oh, they're just wild horses. There's a lot of them up here, you know, kind of untamed. It's so beautiful. Beautiful? I never thought of it that way. You're such a city girl. <laughs> Wes. Candy. This is Wesley, our caretaker. Sorry to leave the gate open. I was trying to back the truck up. Oh, it's OK. <laughs> this is Tony. Pleased to be of acquaintance. Oh, God, the house is beautiful. You've kept it so lovely. Thank you. Damn horses. Are they getting worse? They are. These new horse hunting laws are made for a boom in the baby foals. I try to swat them out, but they just run too fast. Well, what about animal control? County can't afford it. God damn it. God damn this whole county. You hungry, sweetie? You wanna eat? Are you talking to me? Mm-hmm. Go fix you something? Sh sure. You hungry? Well, hell yes. Mm, damn fine meat. Mm. How long has Wes been in your life? Oh, Wes, since I was a kid. You're a little one. Tell me how to memorize numbers. You know, one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hundreds, and then up to, you know, 1,000, 2,000. Wow, you still haven't memorized. Well, you know, numbers are real important out here in the countryside, you know. Farming is all numbers. Moisture to soil, the pH, the NPK, nitrogen, potash, phosphorus. You remember all that? Of course I do. What a bright young girl. Remember when you survived a weekend in the woods? I did. I, I used a pine cone as a toothbrush. Mm -hmm. You know, there's water in trees. Yes, ma'am, there is. Better water than they have in the store, anyway. 10 times is good. 20 times is good. Nice pine taste. Oh, it's just a different world up here. Sure is. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Here we go. That's those horses. I'm sorry, Tony. Shoot! Get out! Get! Get lost! Yo, get down! Get you, get you, get you, get you! Get, get out! Shoot now! Shoot! You hear me now? You go! So many adventures out here. Candy, I'm sorry I missed them. My God, I tried to run them off, but there must be hundreds of them. No, it's not your fault. We need to build a horse pit. A horse pit? She's a city girl. She's city a girl. girl. It's a pit you dig about 15 foot deep, and, and the horses fall into it like a trap. Then you put the heavy stones on top. Those poor horses. Poor Those horses, poor are you horses. kidding me? They're vermin. They carry disease, Tony. Here's what their purpose is right here. You know what that is? That's horse meat. That's all they're good for. I, I'm so sorry. I, I, I meant no offense. I meant no harm. It's okay, Tony. I understand. I'm, we, we just get. She just didn't know. She just didn't know. I think they're fixing that road up. Better school her ass, though. <laughs> That's what I do. What happened? I saw a horse up close. It was just. So dead behind the eyes, no emotion. Get! 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 Shoot! Get. Go! Get lost! Get! Get! I think they're gone. 
Let's get some sleep. I'm sorry about all this, Tony. Must be quite a culture shock. What did you do here as a kid? It was, it seems so idyllic. We had this game, it was called Throw the Large Stone. So silly, we'd throw these big rocks at each other's heads and our faces would get all calloused up. And Our arms got really built though. What about you? Didn't you have a little summer house somewhere? I wouldn't exactly call it a house. Uh, we had a hut right in the ocean, too close to the water actually, and it flood half the day. The waves were really loud. Salt water all around us. Wow. Well, I think we should turn in, get some shut eye. So it'll be up first thing in the morning. Well, hey there, Candy. Candace. I know, I hear it. You're on the roof. You! Ah, you! Off. Pick up the body in the morning. Throw it out into the trees. Stupid animals. What is this that looks so good? Well, we've got some morning bread, some wheat puffs, and um, horse bacon. Any uh, word from your family? Oh, just check. Oh, you're kidding me. What? What's for my brother? I've got Nina with me. We were on our way up, but we're not going to be able to make it. We'll do it another time. I mean, tell me before I come all the way up here. It's so inconsiderate. It's fine. What do you want to do? Do you, do you want to just go back? I mean, I suppose we could. We could take the scenic route back. Sounds nice. Well, we only have to take the main road down the first mile or so. Oh, no, my God. What have they done? Done. Stomped on everything like a goddamn tornado. Oh. Damn horses. You heading back? Yeah, well, the family ain't gonna turn up. They canceled last minute, so we're gonna head on home. We'll have this all cleaned up by the time y'all come back. I thank you, Wesley. You're an angel from heaven above. Oh, God. Shoot! Shoot! Uh, we, we just want to get to our car. You think that just because you make all that noise, you run this place, that you run this county? You don't. This is our land. We built this cabin. I'd like to see you sign a deed. They'd laugh right at you at the real estate office. Why don't we just walk home? There's a path up to the road over here. Okay. We'll be back. Hurry back now. Welcome to Canada Immigration. Please wait until your number is called. How long do I have to wait? Been waiting a long time. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just trying to get over the border, sir. Sounds like you got a lot of anger. Yes, I do. Why are you angry? Because America is run by corporations, all right? It's a mm -hmm. fascistocracy. I don't want to talk about America. I want to talk about you. Look, are you angry at me, the system, or are you angry at yourself? I am angry at my friends, okay? They turned old in a way that we were against originally. They're into their houses and their decks and their cars and, I mean, we wanted to smash the system. Are you angry at your friends for changing or are you angry at yourself for staying the same? I didn't change because I am right and they're wrong. You are here with me. They stuck it out. I mean, what does that say about you? Well, it says that nobody is listening. I'm listening. I, I mean, I guess you are. I just hate. What do you hate? OK, I'll, I'll tell you what I hate. First of all, I hate my government. Mm -hmm. I hate them. OK. I hate my family. Keep going. What do you hate, Spike? I, I hate myself, OK? You hate yourself. Come here. Buddy. How are you going to stop being angry at your country when you can't stop being angry at yourself? I don't want to stop hating my country, you know? It's, it's a... Well, then be angry then. But do it where people can see you. Go back to Portland. Oh, 
Why am I crying? Oh. Because you're a special miracle. <laughs> Canada doesn't need any miracles like you. Wow. Look, here's your ID. Go back to your friends and you show them. You go back to America. <laughs> <laughs> Good job with that one. The self-help speech works every time. <laughs> ah, unbelievable. They just keep sending them. I gotta get to work. I'll see you in a minute. Riot spray! Oi, 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 oi! Get ready for riot spray! Some people look at a sandwich and say, that's great. Some people look at a sandwich and say, that's not gonna cut it. Look at this. It's bulky. It flips, it flops. It's very thick, it's a little disjointed. You're really eating a piece of 300-year-old technology. The sandwich can't really withstand the strength of the human hands. Yeah, you know, I'll do it. See? Can't really withstand it. Do you mind? This came as a sandwich, and now it is a mess. In the 1980s, American culture introduced that the pita, pita pocket. pocket. If you ever imagine what it was like to eat a purse or a clutch filled with leaves and tomatoes, this is it. Unfortunately, there continued to be problems. The pita bread itself was too dry. Often it took a whole glass I'll, I'll say it. Often that? it took a, a whole, whole glass, glass of, of water, water just to get it down. A whole glass of water. water. Now, bowls are one of man's earliest inventions. So the problem was, People were so used to, you know, the pita bread, the wraps, the sandwiches, that people were sort of biting into the actual bowl. I, I don't think that ever actually happened. There, there's a high probability of anything happening. I think there are some people who swallowed whole bowls. Mounds. Mounds. Look at that. A mound of food. There's no plates, no bowls, no utensils. Exactly, it's there are no, no bowls. Look at this. You no just plates, go like no that, bowls. and it's gone. I think the point could have been I'm made. I'm listening, I'm listening. Yes, the, the point, point could have been, been made, made without you I'm smashing listening. the bowl. I'm listening, okay. But we didn't stop with mounds. Ow, watch out. We call it the chicken sprinkler. It's ground chicken pumped through a sprinkler. No bowls, no utensils, no bread. Let's give it a shot. Is your foot bleeding? Quite a lot, yes. Ready? Here we go. Chicken time. I can just run my tongue right along that sprinkler. If I throw up, it's not because of that. that. It's because I'm, I'm bleeding a little bit. Oh, if I throw up, it is because of that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, Candace. Man, I can't even hear you. Hold on, please. The restrictions that they put in, in a newspaper, they have no right. Do you see this? Good morning. Good morning. Look. Planned Parenthood under attack. Oh, Candace, now I'm angry. Fuming. I'm just gonna pace back and forth. I wanna go over there. You know, I'm not happy here, I'm gonna go over there. Are you even mad? Do you even care? How can you doubt the feminist credentials of a woman that has a tampon chair? You know, I feel like you're not mad enough, Tony. Candace, I am angry, I want to scream, but my scream is silent because it expresses the silencing of women. Well, show me, what is that like? That is your scream? There's nothing happening. Here, I'll do it for you, I'll do your voice if you don't have a voice, go ahead. Planned Parenthood, oh, no, 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 no. We do not, we do not touch it. There is fire in my mouth. <laughs> Fire in my eyes. I'm so upset. Oh, my life. I just look up to Candace, but it's so hard to be honest with her. She looks like she was sculpted out of granite. Candace, not to diminish the good work we're doing here, but if Planned Parenthood needs her help, maybe we should volunteer. Yes, hello. This is uh, Tony Rose. I'm with my colleague, Candace Devereaux. We're calling because we are interested in volunteering at your organization, uh, a little bit about us. Um, we are post-structuralist feminists uh, with a uh, slant towards anarchy. Uh, we came up in second wave. Hard slant. A hard slant towards uh, the anarchic. What are they saying? 
Uh, they're saying that they do um, a group orientation for volunteers every two weeks. They, a group orientation? No, we're not students. We would be teaching them. Well, the work that is available to us would be um, sort of secretarial or uh, custodial. Give me, give me the phone. Okay, well, um, let's do it. Candace? Hi, how are you? Who am I speaking to? Lana, what a nice name. Lana, I'd like to just inform you as to who we are and what we do. We are former business owners. Okay, we come from a managerial. Do you know that word, managerial? Background, I will not keep my voice down. Did you hang up? Did you, you're still there. Well, you are very lucky to hear my voice. Why are you being so polite? Did you hang up yet? You get calls like this a lot, do you? Well, I make a lot of calls like this. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hang up on you. Goodbye. Candace, those were the people who were trying to help. I just get so angry, Tony. I know, I, I'm angry too. What are the rules about opening up a clinic of your own, like a women's health clinic? Well, it, it seems like we need a medical degree, which I don't have. We'll learn. This will be an experience for us. I mean, I would love to use a speculum. All right, it's a very momentous day for us here at the firm because after 17 years, we are very happy that Kathleen Drake has been named new partner. Let's uh, welcome her. Yeah. It's a really big deal because you're our first female partner. I mean, how about that? First, another round of applause for that. So, Kathleen, it is speech time for you. Oh, okay, well, uh, I guess, First of all, just thank you. It, it is an honor. And, um, you know, I have been here at the firm for 17 years. And, yeah, sometimes it has been hard for me here as a woman. Uh, I would say that... S sorry, just... Um, I, I'm, I'm with you, and I know it's difficult in any workplace. Um, but just... I'm not bad, right? Oh, Paul, no, I, I wasn't talking about you. Just... You know, sort of in general, I think, you know, when I started here, fresh out of law school and coming into an environment that especially then was was all male. And Kathy, this... I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you've been treated badly, no question. Uh, I just, for the sake of clarity, I'm not bad, right? Right, Tom, you're you're not bad. Great. Uh, so to, to continue, you know, I just uh, feel sorry. like, yes. I'm, I'm not bad, right? You know what? You're not. Oh. You're not either. Um, I mean, these two guys aren't bad, right? No. Is these guys bad? No. Is that guy bad? No. How about us as a group? Are we bad? No. Let me ask you a question. I'm sorry. I don't know if I should stand for this or not. Maybe I don't need to stand. Yeah, you don't need to okay. stand. Um, there was a day when in front of everybody, I complimented your eyes. I want to say that I would have complimented anyone's eyes. Bill, for example, if he had nice eyes, I would have complimented him. He does not have nice eyes. Brilliant attorney, but uh, eyes are uh, smaller than I would have designed. Maybe it's a little bigger. So I complimented you because of your eyes. And I, I'm still, I'm not bad, right? Correct. No one in this room is bad. No one in this room. Whoa. Josh, not you either. No one on the phone is bad. Well, Kathleen, I gotta say, you really put him under a lot of stress. Hey, Josh, we're really sorry about that. That must have been humiliating for you to think that you were in the hot seat for that long. For uh, two we, seconds. Two very long seconds. No one deserves that. I've had 17 years of rampant sexism in this office, but I am so sorry that you had two seconds of discomfort. Thank you, Paul. I feel supported. Uh, and uh, that won't happen again. What? And just to say, and that won't, that won't happen again. And that, that, that's not going to happen again, Josh. Well, I'm sure through healing and dialogue we can resolve our um, differences. Thanks a lot. Okay. I, I don't know where I was with this thank you speech or... <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know who you are, but you're not bad. You know, he might be bad. You know, we don't know him. Sir, you might be a monster. We don't know you. You, uh, want me to hit this guy? You need a scapegoat? Sure. Yeah. Be right back. Yeah, finally. That's the problem, that guy. That's the problem. How do my eyes look? Ev everyone's eyes look great, except for Bill. This is kind of a muscle, right? Right here? I guess so. Two rock and roll sushis. Oh, so, I am so you. hungry. Sure. Thank you very much. Mm. What is it? A waiter? Yeah, what? I just, what, what's in this? Tuna, avocado, and spicy mayo. Spicy? 
Did you, did, did you say spicy mayo? It's okay. How spicy are we talking about? Can I, can I see that menu? Yeah, I mean, we operate by the chili system. We got one chili to five chilies. Okay. Just tell me. Just tell me. Two chilies. It's okay. Water, water, water. Stay secret. Give the spicy mayo. My husband's had some spicy food. Can I get some milk? Uh, I heard milk makes it worse. I don't think milk makes it worse. They're burning into my stove. My memories are going away. <laughs> it's really just two chilies. That's not that spicy. It's two chilies. Everyone, I need an EpiPen. I like it to die. Bye. Bye. Time to die. No. Did, 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 did I die? Well, you, you uh, passed on, and uh, th this is heaven. I'm St. Peter, and, 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 and uh, welcome. <laughs> and we, we have the same name, uh, yeah, but I'm St. Peter. <laughs> Is, is there spicy food up in heaven? No, uh, in, no spicy food. Uh, we've got uh, uh, bread, uh, some cold potatoes once in a while. Um, cottage cheese. <gasps> oh my God! I'm alive. You saved my life. I did. St. Peter said that you look really nice from way up above. <laughs> You said your posture is great. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Next. So what we have here is a collaborative workspace for independent contractors, uh, startups, entrepreneurs. Hey, Matt. Matt, for example, uh, redesigns food trucks. Okay, well, where can we set up a space? I mean, what are these people like? Do we know these other people who work here? I'm sorry, what business were you guys gonna run out of here? Women's health. Women's health? Yes, you've heard those words before, right? Health and women. women. Yes. Comprehensive health care, affordable health care, services provided to women that are much needed. Okay. Birth control. Mammograms. Female condoms. Oh, yeah. Egg fertilization. Oh. Pelvic exams. Very familiar. IUD installations. All right. Lectures. Lectures, yeah, helping people out. Educating loud the lectures. Community. How loud? This loud. No. Oh. Menstruation. Happens all the time. Not all the time, about once a month. Fair enough. We don't want any nosy people. No peepers. No peepers. Okay. My only concern is in the past, I believe women's health clinics have been the most successful running out of strip balls. You haven't looked at one of those before you looked at us, have you? You're saying we look like strippers? No, no, a strip mall. Like a mall oh, oh, with a- Oh, I'm sorry, we don't look like strippers. What do strippers look like? I, I really want to know. No, no, I'm not saying I'm gonna we don't a, look uh, like strippers. I'm gonna write it down. What, what, what do strippers look like? Is it your intent to look like? Just watch what you say. It... I'm looking at your mouth. You better accept our application or I will tear apart this building brick by brick and rebuild it 20 feet up in the air. And when it comes crashing down, you know what's gonna happen. Why don't I find you guys a nice cubicle space? Wonderful. By the way, we love you. Thanks for coming, you guys. Mm, the food smells incredible. I'm starving. <laughs> well, we're still waiting on Josh and Liz. Oh, you haven't heard? What? They broke up. Josh oh, and Liz? No. Yeah. You know, I noticed he was posting more online. That's too bad. It's really weird. Brendan, what's wrong? I sent them an invite, right? And Josh wrote back to me privately. Just him. And he said, I can't wait to be there. He can't come to a couple's dinner alone. He's single. Mm -mm. Oh, he just texted. What'd he say? Hey, looking for parking. Yeah! Y-A-A. -A. Brendan, <sighs> shut off the lights. We have to lock the door. I don't have my app here. Off. Off. Brendan, come on. Just shut, shut the lights off. Do you have just a switch? Can we use a switch? Attic alarm. Oh, Brendan, please, Dinner. come on. Shut the lights off. Guard, uh... Come on. Oh, oh, just stay quiet. Hello? 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 
it's too late. He's here. Hello! <laughs> God, he already sucks. I'm flying solo tonight, hope that's okay. Look at his posture with. Is that a dance move he just did? Brendan? Michelle? Brendan, he cannot come inside. Jim, I'll go lock the door. Being single is contagious. Go, 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 go. Buddy. <laughs> uh, hey, heard about you and Liz. Oh, don't feel bad. Life has many chapters. That's a really good attitude. And then don't listen to him. Seriously, man, it's for the best. <laughs> I get to do my own thing. You know, I set up the drum kit again, right in the living room. Oh, really? Ah! <sighs> hey, Michelle. Is your sister still dancing? Ew. <laughs> What do you guys think of that barista at Case Study? Would it be weird if I asked her to a movie? Do people still go to the movie? <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I know she's 23, but there's something about her. <gasps> Isn't that she's 23? Oh, no, no, Michelle. It's not like that. She has an insatiable curiosity. I think she was homeschooled. <laughs> Josh! I'm sorry! Oh, Michelle, come on. Have you seen these dating apps? They're a trip. It's a whole, whole different, different world, world out there. Let go! Mike? Hey, buddy. Me and Josh should go to the Grand Canyon. I don't know, maybe drop by Vegas on the way. It's nearby. Vegas seems fun. Mike, where's Kathleen? Imagine living in wine country. Chardonnay all day. No, they're both single now. There's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> There's plenty of fish in the sea. There's plenty of fish in the sea. All right, let's get our story straight for the cops. I'm trying to have a couple's night. Josh came over, he's single. That's the story. All right. Then three people died and our house burned down. Yeah. Should we get a hotel? Ooh, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are in the neighborhood because I work just around the block and I've been putting off my annual pap smear, so... Can I offer you a morning after pill? Oh, not, not today. Thank you, though. You know, we want you to know that everything you say here is confidential. Okay. I'm sorry, I can barely hear you. Or just, I'm, I'll get a checkup or whatever is normal. Do you know how to clean the vagina? Oh. It's really easy. I feel like I have cleaning down. What's complex about the vagina is people don't realize how that to clean it. Oh, um, and I'm not an expert, but I know that's wrong. Do you shampoo? Yes. Don't you shampoo in the vagina? I don't. Well then don't. I'm just here for my annual pap, okay? Hey, this is part of the medical exam. Hey! I can hear you typing. It's very distracting. You think we don't hear you? Turn down your headphones. You! Don't you dare press print. Don't you. If I hear that printer, I swear to God, I'm going to bite you. How would you rate your vagina? Um, health or just looks? Length. I'm sorry, what is your background? I was born in Seattle. Uh, I have a sister. And uh, I'm, I'm no. sorry, I meant more like medical training or certification that you have. I, it was actually, I'm sorry, out, a little outside of Seattle, uh, Kirkland. We have samples too, so you can have these. I just, you haven't touched me or examined me in any way. And I know this is laid back and I want to be cool, but these are barbecue napkins. These are for eating ribs. We'd love for you to check out our dildo lending library. What? 
know. You need to know your body. So I think you're just afraid of um, what this can do. Go ahead. And I guess it's just I don't want to masturbate before I go back to work. We'd be honored if you would. You can just. You're not saying no to this. I I'm just going to go. So can I just get my urine sample and I'm going to take it to a real doctor? I don't want to leave it here with you. Is that hers? Oh. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we're doing a really good thing here. Hi, I'm Bryce Chivers. And I'm Lisa Eversman. Have you ever been invited to something you don't want to go to? But you made the commitment anyway because you felt obligated. What you do is you wait till the very last second and then you... Cancel, cancel it. it! Events like your boss's barbecue. Cancel it! Your niece's birthday. Cancel it. Alan's open mic. Just wait until the very last second and then just cancel it. You don't have to cancel everything. It's weird. I was never invited to Alan's open mic. Yeah, that is weird. Reminder, client dinner. Cancel it. Dentist appointment. Cancel it. Couples counseling. Cancel it. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you have plans to see a play with your parents, but you don't want to go? But you feel guilty because you barely ever see them? You don't have to go. But they're old. Canceling is the fastest way to teach the elderly about the uses of technology. This is why texting was invented, so you could cancel last minute. Theater with parents. Cancel it. Breakfast with Diane. Cancel it. Even if you love your family, we all dread the holidays. Why not exchange presents in January when the flights are cheap and the malls are empty? That's right, you can cancel, cancel Christmas. Christmas. Cancel it. Hey, uh, what are we doing for Christmas? You know, I might be out of town. Aw, what's Alan doing here? Yes, I'm aware. Sounds so boring. <laughs> cancel it. Potato pancakes at the like a, Does it think of you a stomachache? <laughs> it's like a smashed hockey puck. What are you looking at? Oh, you know, uh, Tinder and Bumble. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Looking for a date? Yeah, you know, single. It's been a while, so I don't know. What do you think of this guy? Um, I think it's weird that he has blurred out someone in the picture. What if it's just someone random and he like didn't get their permission? Well, I have a feeling that's his ex, and I think it's aggressive that he blurred her out. Okay. What about this? I think this is so funny. You want to date a dog? No, I don't want to date a dog. He just has a picture of the dog. He's kind of like commenting you on the whole culture. That. At least he should show his own face, don't yeah. you think? Well, what's the goofy one? That's his whole thing is he's being funny. Do you like funny? I don't know what I like anymore. You just deserve better. Whatever you show me, you deserve better. What about this guy? Nope. No. 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 Ugh. Garbage. 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 Trash. No. Ugh. Garbage. 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 I think that's a red flag. Yeah, good point. That's fair. These people are all trash compared to what you deserve. Oh, she's just Oh, I'm sorry. You know, me and Carrie are going to go get some low-key plastic surgery, but I think we're going to cancel so we can help you get a date. You guys don't have to cancel your plans. Like, it's just, it's a string of terrible options. That's what it is. I'll be fine. I'm worried you're not going to find someone if we're not here to help. OK, describe your perfect guy. OK. Um. I guess like kind of a squarish shape, face, dark features in general. He's Jewish, but like wants to be Italian. Thin-ish. You like a tight shirt, right? Tighten up that shirt. Yeah, that's great. You're not trying yourself, are you? Do you want to date this guy? Oh. Hey. Hi. Hello. Uh, we're Steve and Anne. We have a reservation. OK. Um, little complication. We were supposed no. to meet a couple people here, and they literally just texted that they can't make it. Could the two of us just go in by ourselves? Unfortunately, the room you've got booked is a four-person minimum requirement. Um, we do have a couple here looking for a few extra players themselves. Escape room! We're going to set a record. We're going to beat you guys. I thought we are all on the same team. Yeah, it's one team. That's right, one team, and we're going to win. Well, f follow me. Excuse us. Escape, 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 escape. I'm about to lead you into Dr. Mondego's study. The doctor was found murdered of mysterious causes. <gasps> when the detectives arrived, they found no visible wounds on the body. Dummies. They did, however, find a note in his typewriter addressed to his wife and two sons. 
and had said that if he were to be found dead, that they should not believe that it was by his own hand. If for any reason you need to get out of the room, we have a panic button. <clears throat> but know that if you do press it, the game will be over and you will not receive a refund. Yeah, and you're a bunch of little babies. All right, well, good luck. Escape! Clues, escape, escape, clues, clues. Look around, guys. Look at how cool this is. Wow. Shut up. You shut your mouth. It's two of you. We're the leaders, okay? okay You're the followers. Fine. It's oh I got this. God. First of all, we do not need these cameras. <gasps> and we do not need the panic button. Oh my God. Let's go. Look around, look around. Look, 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 look. We're looking. Look hard. All right, get your pupils focused. Well, oh guys, here, it's on the desk. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, well, how does this work? Does anyone know how to do an abacus? I got it. Why would there be a laminate on a postcard? Who does that? Ooh. Wait, okay, we found something. Okay. Ideas are light bulbs, turn it on. That seems like a clue, right? No, that's, that's a fake out. Okay. You're wasting time. Same. Ideas are light bulbs, turn Same. it on. Let's go. Ah! Guys, do you want to help us? We found, found some clues. clues. They're in their own world. Okay. Why Unlock is there a switch? Put your key in. Put your key in! <laughs> Smart me. Put your key in! Good luck! Put yeah. your key in the hole! <laughs> <Holy> crap. <laughs> <laughs> is he okay? <coughs> There's blood in my mouth. <coughs> let's just let's just keep looking. <laughs> Not smart, huh? Cool. What was um, computer talk? The computer talk. Binary. Computer talk. Binary. Computer talk. Binary. Mm -hmm. Read every book. It's in here. Oh, you got it. Look at that. What's this? Stay, Stay safe. safe. Stay. Do this to us! We found a clue! We're not lab rats! Okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. You have the right to steal it to my brain! It's got my it? Brain. Yes! Oh my god! Please. You son of a bitch! I'm gonna go through! Do it! Get it! Ah. Yes! Ah. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah! Yes. We did it! We won! Look at there's our time 4113. 4113, yes! Woo! Woo! All right. When do you guys want to do this again? What about me? Hey, I'm Drew. And you know it, I'm Andy. About three months ago, we swore off of women. No dating them, no falling in love with them, nothing, not even thinking about them. Uh, we weren't getting a lot of feedback on this new lifestyle choice, and it occurred to us that people didn't know that we were swearing off women. So this is sort of our uh, coming out video. I wonder if uh, we clarify that in a, you know. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. This is our heterosexual coming out video. Not coming out. It's more that we are announcing. A straight guy coming out. I'm Drew. I'm Andy. This is our heterosexual video about swearing off women. As it were. As it were. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, we tried everything. We really tried our best, you know, going out on dates. You know, I did a lot of uh, spaghetti dinners and steak dinners and uh, hamburger dinners. Uh, for my part, I was sending a lot of DMs asking women on dates. And these were funny DMs. You know, we have a sense of humor. You know, 50 jokes, 150 jokes in a row. I, I had done some research about what women find funny. And then, of course, I was also sending some heartfelt compliments. I mean, you know, women, feminism, the problem is that, that it's, it's impossible. Why even try? That's why we decided to opt out, okay? If straight man can't win at the game, don't play the game he can't win at, boys. If the game is fixed, why play? Don't you like, wouldn't you say that if you can't win at the game, <clears throat> we should do like, this whole thing should be a silhouette. Oh, yes. That's when things got out of hand, you know? I was taking this girl out and sat with her at dinner and she didn't say a word. I don't really know the exact moment when things changed. All I know is that she stopped calling me back. Uh, pretend to cry a little? <laughs> I don't know, it's like, if someone was, I don't know, if someone's watching the video, I don't know, like if a, if a woman was actually... A woman? No, man. <sighs> Be strong, just... I, I don't know, but like if, like if someone could love me... Oh, don't do that. She's beautiful. Who? Who's beautiful? I don't know. Some women are beautiful. 
Uh, hey, hey, it's Sophia, your neighbor. Uh, we're making a video. I just need some help with the couch. Would you mind? Um, we're busy. Oh, it'll just take a second. I'll make you guys some lemonade. Uh, maybe at, when we're done. I'd prefer not to. Yeah, but are guys good for their muscles? Yeah, hire us first. Okay, thanks. That's right, man. Uh, I'm gonna go get a glass of water. All right. Oh. Um, if anything, I feel like I'm like too romantic. Uh, there's part of me that just would love to like settle down and like. What are you kids? What? Sorry. Are you talking into no, the no, camera? No, no, no. I was just fixing the mic, man. Hi, Thank God, you guys. We here. came as soon as we could. Okay, so I got two phones. I've been texting with eight different people, and I I'm losing track. Okay, there's one guy. We're just communicating via Family Guy quotes, and whoa, 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 I'm out of things Stewie said. Slow down. Yeah. We can handle this. Okay. I. What's that? Okay. Oh, but. Um. I... Rachel, welcome to the command center. So I'm gonna handle the deep thinking guys that are looking for something intellectual. I'm gonna handle all the jokey guys who don't wanna come off too serious. Okay, uh, what should I do? Uh, you should handle the guys that immediately send pictures of their dicks or are just here for sex. Got it, okay. Oh, and this is Trevor. It's super great to meet you. Hey. Due to the heavy text volume, Trevor has your phone hooked up to a machine so he can patch us in to our own group of guys. I'd like to help out, and don't worry, I won't uh, look at the content. Just the name. Oh, you can look at the content. I mean, I'm not, there's nothing to hide. Oh, okay. uh, cool, I'd love to look. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Let's get to work. We are patched in, all lines are open. Gross, send, gross, send. Oh, come on, you know I wasn't being serious. Sometimes it's hard to say things over text, but you know exactly what I mean, send. Oh, no. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Oh, you're very interesting. Gross, send. Yes, I do believe in true love. That's your finger, send. Trevor, dick pics go to Rachel, not me. Oh. Hey, uh, hope this isn't too weird, but I'd love to take you out sometime, that is, if you're interested. Uh, yeah, uh, do you have an online profile? I don't. Oh, but no, but then how would I find you or, or get to know you? Rachel, hand me the stats. Oh, the stats on Brett. What? Fred, here's the Rachel, graph. Rachel, someone says they already know you. Oh, God. They've dated you before. What does that Why mean? Why are they asking me? We've Why are you asking? I already rejected you them. LOL. LOL, 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 LOL. Ah, then. Sure, that's, that's an threatening fetish. Gross. Got a date. Hmm? Dinner at the Slide In tomorrow night. Well, which guy? Uh, I don't know. David, Peter, I can't tell which. Is it me? No. Is it me? Why would it be you, buddy? Sorry, Trevor. So, Joey, what brings you in today? Um, I live pretty close. I live right there. That's, that's my house. Oh. So I saw your sign, and it says to make an appointment, and then I did. I'm not crazy. I know there's a lot of crazy people out there, and they, you know. Oh, I don't like to make judgments on people's mental health. Good. I'm here to help people. You know, someone's crazy enough, you put them in a straitjacket, right? And you put them in a rubber room? I don't. You, you call a paddy wagon? I don't know. You don't do that? Nope. Why, why do they do that? What is that? Well, sometimes, um... You must get serial killers in there, right? God, I hope I haven't seen any killers, but... They, I... they, they chop people up, you know, because they're so sick. Well, I They think... don't understand that, like, once you kill someone, that's enough. You don't have to keep going it... and chopping them up like they're in, you know, the deli. <sighs> okay. Joey, can I be honest with you? Yeah. You're doing a lot of shifting of subjects. I'd really like to know why you're here. What's, uh, uh what's kleptomania? That's stealing, right? It is. Yeah, what is that? Stealing. What about colorblindness? That's, that's, that's a lie, right? No, no. Nope. What about amnesia? I think it's not true. It is. Isn't that convenient, though? Couldn't they say, I don't want to pay the bill. Uh, I have amnesia. I don't know what happened. I don't think it really works like that. You believe stuttering? I, yeah. I do, too. When people stutter, I go, I think that's real. Hmm, okay. Um, you know what necrophilia is? Some people are so sick that they, you know, they climb on top of a body. Okay, yeah, I know, I know what it is. You could hump two rocks and it'd feel better than a corpse. And then what are you doing? You're done. Nice to meet you. Oh, sorry, you're dead? I do like nymphomania, though. That's a, wow. 
Nymphomania. Hi, nice to meet you. You want to get married? I mean, that's a good disease to have. Say more about that, please. No, I will not. I don't have to answer any questions at this time. Okay. okay. Freud said you wanted to do it with your mom, right? Uh, Freud did talk about the Oedipal complex. Just sit with your mom and go, hey, mom, you know, I know we're having a good time looking through old family photos. You want to go up to the bedroom for a minute? Let me take off your blouse, give you a massage, you know, kiss in the neck. You can... I mean, that's my mom you're talking about. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Okay, uh, Joey, our time is actually up. A what? We've got about five minutes before we've got to um, wrap up here, so... So. This is the session? Yeah, oh yeah. I thought I had to, you know, put on like a butt gown and like sit up and... Oh no. Hey, you, you going in here, the therapist? It's a rip-off. You never get past the waiting room. <laughs> oh no, no, I, I have to see her. I'm an infomaniac. Want to get married? Claire! Claire! Doug, I'm working. Why are you still here? You know you're sad about your drums getting stolen, but you can't just sit around moping all day. Yeah, but it's just not cool, you know? Like, stupid van and stupid windows being open and unlocked doors. An invitation to take my drums. Okay, remember when Kim broke her leg and she didn't have health insurance? Yeah, that sucks. And she had that benefit, and everyone turned out, she made enough money to pay her bills. Yeah, yeah. that was a lot of fun, right? Right, so what if you threw a benefit for Doug? Yeah, for my drums. Right. That gives you something to do. Do you want to help me with it? I don't. Good talk. Yeah, wow. Give it up for Construction in the Zones. Incredible band. Thank you all for coming together for this very serious and important issue. Now, you know me as a tough guy. You think I didn't cry my eyes out? I had tears that were this big. We love you, Doug. You know, I'm kidding around? We got you, dude. Yeah, you, you do got me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And the band thanks you, and have a great time. Doug, Doug, oh my gosh. You're such a success. You've already made enough money to cover the drum kit. It's incredible, I can't believe it. Look at this, brand new. Um, I'm gonna go to work, okay? Bye, hon. Bye. Oh, man, my favorite jeans. Incredible, as always. Uh, what are we talking about? Basic human essentials. Water, shelter, jeans. I don't take any of it for granted. Enjoy the music. What's wrong, cutie? Well, I, I think it's just out of ink. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to the store. Um... Oh, hey, shh, come on. What's wrong? It's okay. I have a job now. Yeah. Don't worry about it, giving a little more. There's always more ink in the sea. You spent $3,000 on beer last month? I did? Yeah, you have the beer get to prove it. I do? All right, well, I'm just like not making as much money anymore. I know, because you've given people benefit fatigue. Well, how am I gonna pay you back for that beer I bought on your credit card? I think I know. Thanks, everyone. Um, uh, anyway, Doug's parents are going to make a statement. Without further ado, Doug's mom. 여러분 너무 감사하고 고맙습니다. 우리 특히 클레어를 통해서 여러분들이 온 마을이 이렇게 우리 아들을 도와주는 너무 너무 감사해서 말할 수가 없어요. 그리고 이제 여러분들이 떠나기 전에 컨스트럭션아 존. <웃음> So, uh, where, where are you from? Um, well, it's a town outside of Boston, but you wouldn't know the town, so I, I just say Boston. Great, great, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, that's great. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> hey, Dan, I don't, I don't mean for this to sound too forward, but, um, you seem perfect. Be fine. 
I was just about to say the same thing about you. You know what, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Dan, whose middle name, I don't know. It's French and really hard to pronounce. Will you get off dating apps with me? Yes. Yes, I will. Oh my God, I hate dating. <laughs> I hate dating. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Hmm. oh, I'm gonna relax now. Me too. This is it. This is just it. just over now. Oh, this is it, this is oh. our life. Yeah, wow. This is disgusting, by the way. So am I getting me um, like some real dinner? I get some nachos. <sighs> I am on a gluten-only diet from now on. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna take my belt off for a second. Mm. Mm. Here you go. Do you mind if I go bald? I'm gonna stop dyeing my hair. Oh, this is me. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <sighs> hey, um, I'm gonna start an emotional affair with someone else, but it'll just, it'll be some light texting. Of course, I, I'll do that too. Great. Oh, also, can we stop having sex? I would really love that. Aww. Hey. Oh, hey, what are you guys doing here? We're on a date. Wait, those are all the guys you said weren't good enough for me. Yeah, well, they're good enough for us. That's the guy with the blurred face girl and the red flag. And wait, you said don't date a guy who had a dog in his profile picture, but he's the hottest guy here. We didn't know. So it uh, looks like you got off dating apps. Congrats, you found someone. Yeah, yeah, he's loved my life. We have three kids, that's great. And I'm with Trevor now. I met him at your house. The comedy guy is so funny. <laughs> We've been in the business of horse extraction for 150 years, ever since the invention of blinders. That's right. Without blinders, these horses would be running around like a bunch of maniacs. So we applied this very technology to human beings, introducing the first ever distraction canceling glasses. Finally, a world where you can focus on the original thing you were doing. Can you see how much flights are to visit my parents? Yeah, sure. I'll uh, look online. Oh, what's this? Freeze. This poor guy doesn't have a chance. He's gonna end up clicking on what the cast of Family Matters looks like right now. Skateboarders racking their balls on handrails. Tigers who are friends with bears. Cats playing the piano. Colorblind videos where people put on these special glasses and they see colors for the first time and they're so overwhelmed by emotion that they take off the glasses and then go like this, like. And everyone's crying. Unfreeze. Whoa. Well, flights are pretty cheap, actually. It's about $317. Distraction blinders remove the distraction. And it's not just for the internet. Wedding invites that get you thinking about your own pathetic life. Freeze. Unfreeze. Hi. We got invited to a cool buffet party. Huh? Oh, yeah. And these glasses won't just shield you from personal problems, they can help shape your worldview as well. Good afternoon. Hey. It's your dog. And the world is a brighter place too. Well, that's how we met, right there on the old TriMet in the handicap seat. That is so romantic. So how did you guys meet? Oof, it's a long story. Uh, I have to throw another round of hot dogs on the fire. Come on, Lance, quit being a pussy. Just tell the story. Nina's the better storyteller in the family. Okay, I'll do it. It's like a fairy tale. Picture it, Portland, 1997. Just two cool guys out on the prowl. They didn't know where the night was gonna take them. I didn't either. Nice. Two beers, please. How's it going? Psst, maintaining. It's been a long time since I uh, dug someone enough to pull out on. I get you. What's that? It's a burlesque show. You should check it out. You like boobs, right? I freaking love boobs. 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 Salty Jasmine. Salty Jasmine. There she goes, rolling out. Uh-oh. Here they come. Ladies and gentlemen, this act is uh, magically delicious. Gorgeous girl. Oh, yeah, the strawberry blonde. No, no, no. There's only one girl up there the redhead. Thank you, sweet, sweet ladies. Watch this. 
Matt at the Brodex. A wham, wham, wham. <gasps> your moves. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, I got more moves than a furniture mover on moving day after someone sells their big house and moves into a bigger house. Big's my middle name. My first name's Lance, so uh, you can call me Lance. What should I call you? My friends call me Ballerina. Well, since I plan on being more than your friend, I think I'll call you Nina. Nina, my ballerina. Oh. Go, ballerina. That, that's Derek, my boyfriend. Hang on, just a second. What's this? Mm, buy yourself a, a shave. It's on me, baby. Come on, darling. Let's go. This is a really good show, I thought. Hey, Derek. Hey, Derek. Hey, Derek. Hey, Derek. Hey, Derek. I told you, man. You gotta be careful. Messing with the magician's girl is dangerous. I'm gonna pull out on that woman if it's the last thing I do. Can we pull out on this story? No. There's a lot more. We're just at the tip. Yes. Hi there. How are you? Amanda. Amanda. Nice I'm to meet you. Gigi. I'm we, Phil. We spoke on the phone. Yes. We are from Standard Ceremonies, Weddings Division. Cool. Why don't you talk to us? Tell us what's happening. So my fiance and I are, are getting married here, Memorial Day weekend. I just need a little bit of help planning the ceremony. Well, uh-huh. This seems like a very standard place, kind of forgettable, like a million other weddings. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, who is walking you up the aisle? Uh, my dad. Okay, and uh, does he have a bum leg? Is he sort of walk in a lopsided, very slow way? Oh, no, my dad is very, very healthy. He oh, really? Yeah. Well, I think at a wedding, you need someone that's either ill or injured. It's, it's got to seem like an incredible feat that that person is walking at all. <gasps> it walks. Do I just tell my dad to pretend? We don't want any pretending. We could kind of do like a Tanya Harding situation. Oh. I, I'm not sure I feel comfortable with you injuring my father. Let's just say that the muscle in the Achilles tendon is sometimes disconnected during sleep. I don't know, you guys. Most of the time, it's reversible. What are you thinking for vows? Oh, um, actually, I wrote them. <sighs> Laura, ever since that first date, I'm already so bored. Which is good. She's giving you a compliment. Yeah. Oh, yes. Now, this is very important. Oh, I have a band already. Can they see it from the drones that we're going to have flying overhead? Zzz. Probably not. You want it to be big enough so your relatives can see it and go, oh my god. Oh, that's beautiful. So, rice. Now, this is controversial because uh, we know that this kills pigeons. Oh. But pigeons are flying. Meant to die. Yeah. They have lifespans. Also, hey, pigeons, why are you eating rice? Mm -hmm. Not your food. Yeah, so do you have someone that you would like as a flower child in your wedding? Yes, I have a niece. Well, we brought you these people. Oh. You want someone who's not able to take command at all, so that your guests are like, why did they even get him to do this? OK. Like, like Silas, go walk over that way. Go walk that way. Go over there. You see how he doesn't really take command? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there any way to get a family member in here? I mean, I don't know if your niece can pull off stuff like these guys. Uh. Probably not. You know, she talks throughout a whole wedding, asking questions the whole mm -hmm. time, like, Is there any more money, Milo? Is there any more money, Milo? Is there any money, Milo? I don't think that'll steal attention from the ceremony. Oh, it's absolutely going to steal attention. I guess this is my wedding party. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was great. I really liked this place. Yeah, it's, it's nice and sweet. Too sweet, which is just how I like it. <laughs> Peter, look what time it is. 12 hours from now. It's breakfast. 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 Steel cut Irish oatmeal with a little maple syrup. Uh, we can have coffee and almond milk. We can have rye toast or wheat toast or sourdough. With a little bread basket. Bread right. basket. Okay, but I salt and pepper here, some sugar over here, maple syrup, honey. I can't wait for breakfast. Ah, uh, me neither. <gasps> Look at that. Just, wow. Ooh. The oh, they stole the ATM. Hey, I was thinking, what if we just prep the kitchen for breakfast now? I was thinking the exact same thing. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna um, grind some coffee. Here you go. Oatmeal, how are we doing on oatmeal? Let's check. Okay, we have a couple weeks worth. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Me too. This is like Christmas. Uh, toast, please. Yeah. Oh, I'm, uh... 
We just practice coming in. Right, already. Good just... morning. Good, mo good morning. Now, how many steps is it? One, two, three, Nancy. The sooner we go to bed, the quicker breakfast comes. Good night, breakfast. See Sleep you. well. See you in the manana. Remember when that new cupcake place opened up and then we asked if they had any breakfast cupcakes? And they were like, yeah, that's a muffin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, so good. good. You know what I would love to do is is put a slideshow together for our friends of all our favorite breakfasts. The hard part is editing the other ones out, you know, because you can't do all your breakfasts. So. Yeah. And breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hash browns. Heaven, breakfast is three times a day. Oh, so good. It's so good. We're eating so fast. Yeah, we really are. I mean, the next time we eat breakfast is in, in 24 hours, right? Yeah. Would it be better if we just ate really slow and took our time so that this can just last? I think that's a great idea. All right. Ready? Yeah. So what happened next? Yeah, that magician sounded like a real douche. Nah, I loved Derek. They were in love, but I was in love too. That's right. Here's a not, but... No, it's not. What happened there? I went to every show. It made me feel really special. He was kind of a stalker. The kind of stalker I like. What color would you say that is? Yellow. Oh, look who it is again. Mr. Uh, every Show. And what color is it now? Red. I was the president, vice president, and treasurer of a one-man fan club. That's so sweet. No, no, no. Those are for the lady. Uh, that's very kind of you. Uh, please. Last well, when things got a little complicated. So. You, you, you gotta be kidding. You know, you come to every single show, you come on to my girlfriend, and I'm telling you, I don't dig it. I can't help that I like uh, magic. Well, if you like magic so much, why don't you make yourself disappear? All right. Can you dig it? Wow. How'd you do that? A biker never reveals his secrets. Wow, how romantic. It's just a beanstalk that I wanted to climb. Yeah, and I was the giant. No, I'm the giant. Oh. Nina, uh, are you decent? Because I got somebody out here who'd very much like to meet you. OK. Is that a Komodo dragon? Komodo dragon? No, it's a, an American alligator. This is going into the act. You don't think it seems a little dangerous? Mm, no. What's the worst that can happen? Tell me. See? You're empty. You got nothing. And now, if we dare, we remove the muscle. Hey, I thought you should eat something. Brought two sandwiches. I didn't know whether you're vegetarian or not. I'd like a meat one. I love meat. I like connecting to my animal nature, you know? Definitely. Sorry about Derek. So scary. Yeah. I'm glad I could be here for you, though. I'm glad you're here, too. And that's when we started to fall in love. Who's first? Believe me now when I say these words to you. I've touched the very heart of me. Get it straight. He's stable. You can come back and see him now. Derek, oh, it's a miracle. Well, the good news is he's going to live forever. 
The bad news is he doesn't have a face and he's not going to wake up till he gets a new one. Oh. He's in a coma until he gets a face transplant. Derek, don't worry. I'll never leave your side. You're going to have to leave, actually. Visiting hours are over. What about us? You know, I mean, I thought we had something, you know, special. Lance, I'm sorry. Derek has Debs. All right. Cool. Peace out. Derek, I'm right here. It's Nina. And the doctor's here. And he said you don't have a face. Sorry, but you actually do have to leave. It's that hour now. Can I stay and talk to him? No, you can come back and visit him and not see his face again tomorrow. Bye, Derek. Uh, the next item for discussion is the library lawn. As we all know, it's not great for the environment to have grass. And as this is a public space, we ought to be leading by example. Now, we're on a very limited budget, but we have assembled a list of affordable options for alternative materials. Just wondering, when was this list compiled? Last week at a previous meeting. Oh, well, we didn't get an invitation, so we weren't there. Uh, it was an efficiency thing. Well, I don't know how it's efficient to leave us out of it, because now you have to tell us about the meeting. And we're doing that now. OK, well, before I look at this list, and I haven't looked down at it yet, my suggestion is wood chips. They don't require water. You just chop down a tree, chip away at it, hence the name. OK, if you look at the list, that is our first item on it. Yeah, but I didn't see this list. This came from my own mind. So for the purposes of this meeting, could we let everyone know that it was my idea? But it wasn't. We could put a plaque in to commemorate the fact that he came up with the wood chip idea. Not going to happen. How about glass marbles? They would not only be environmentally friendly, but they would long outlast the wood chips. I loved marbles as a kid. When you think of kids playing, that's what they're playing, marbles. I think it's the reason they play hooky from school. I think video games when I think kids today. You said that we have a limited budget. We're going to put video games on the lawn? No, I'm just How do we charge them? Instead of a lawn, it could just be an extra lane for the freeway. You want another lane of highway right up next to the building? Yes, so we reduce traffic and we get rid of this lawn. But we're 10 blocks from the highway. Soon we'll be zero blocks. Imagine that. People showing up at this library and they're, they... And is it library or library? Library. Library. But library sounds so right. That's what's so misleading about it. No, it makes you sound like you're 20% uh, less intelligent. There's no reason to raise your voice. I, I didn't raise my voice. You screamed into my ear. I, ha I haven't moved, have I? I haven't seen you move. I'm just trying to be helpful. I don't give a shit about the library lawn. I think I give a shit. But you guys wanted to have this meeting. You want these suggestions? I have suggestions. I have a suggestion. Ma'am. Mm. Why don't you two move to Seattle? I've been suggesting for years that Malcolm moved to Seattle. Well, one thing that we all do agree on is that books are stupid. So you've rejected Lance for a magician in a coma with no face. Not exactly. It's not like you think. Wow, this is quite a story. Oh, yeah, we haven't even gotten to the gory part yet. Gory part? Oh, it turns into a real horror show. I told you she was trouble, man. Antoinette, can I get the check? Where are you going? Where am I going? I want to save face and get my girl. Technically, I'm going to lose face, but it's just semantics. Catch you later. Let me get this straight. You want me to give your face to Derek so he can live? That's right. But you'll be in a coma until you can get a face transplant yourself. Most people wait the rest of their lives waiting on the face list. Lance, you, you can't go through with this. Nina, I want you looking at this face for the rest of your life. If that means I have to be in a coma for that to happen, I'm willing to take that risk. Lance, you... You're my hero. Let's do this. One thing, don't mess up this mustache. Copy that. So wait, you're Derek? No, no, wait, get ready for the abracadabra. Derek. Doctor! Doctor! 
sorry, I can't hear you through the glass. Can you put his face back on? Put his face back on, please. Sorry, but I've got to, I've got to do the laser of the face right now. No, thank you. I want to back on him again. I want Lance. You're very understanding. I really appreciate it. Be sure it's right. All skull and everything. It's great. Well, your chart looks pretty good, but I'm sorry we weren't able to take care of that mustache business for you. I would have rather had you put my face on inside out than not have a mustache. Look, I agree for the symmetry of your face. You need a mustache. I'm not arguing with you about that, but it's not up to me. I'm a doctor. I can do this kind of transplant. I can do lots of different kinds of surgery, but I can't do anything involving hair. Well, thank you for that, doctor. Okay, you didn't hear this from me. There's a boat that comes into international waters every couple of years, you're in luck. This very month, it's coming off the coast of Oregon. I think the city of hope, but this is the city of hair. I can put hair anywhere in the human body that you want it. But you gotta play ball with me, you can't tell anybody about it. But I'm gonna need an imprint of that card today. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Are you ready to set sail? Lance, it seems worth it to me. You know, there's a really cool magic trick I heard about. Yeah, what is it? That's where you make your penis disappear. It turns out that that gator kept me from making the biggest mistake of my whole life. This is a seriously f***ed up story. Yeah, what happened to Derek? Yeah, he's uh, still waiting for a face. Yeah, we keep him up in our attic, connected to a bunch of machines. That's why our electricity bill is so high. This fire's so nice, isn't it? Ah. <sighs> Uh, should we make some wars? You're home. You're hungry. But you're too lazy to properly make a meal or set the table for yourself. You decide to stand by the sink and wolf down whatever most resembles a proper meal. It's an isolating experience. But now you can enjoy eating with others in the way you enjoy it most single and hunched over a sink. We're single at 225 Gleason. Each table is equipped with a counter by a sink and designed for the most elegant standing meals. Tables are built for one person at a time, you. And instead of having to choose, we bring you every item on our exquisite menu. Pita bread halves, natural peanut butter, cold falafel balls, smoked turkey slices, crackers with lots of different seeds on them, cashew, salmon, hummus, rye toast with old butter, chewy Thai spring rolls, and for dessert, peanut clusters from a gift basket. We've created the perfect sound ambiance. Dead silence with a low buzzing hum of the refrigerator. And yes, the sink works. Sinkles at 225 Gleason. This time, eat at our sink. And coming soon, garbage meals. Mmm. So they designed it so it could be untucked, right? So you could leave it like this, and it's formal and casual at the same time, you know? You could wear it anywhere like Great this. shirt. Thank you. Pretty cool, huh? They should make a girl version so you could do the same. You could even button this part so you have a tie on if you want to go to a wedding or a business meeting. Doug, I'd like to have an open relationship. Do the whole polyamory thing. You don't like the shirt? <laughs> I felt like that too. <laughs> oh shoot, you know what? Let's... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Doug. This is Brad, who I've been telling you about. Hey, man, nice to meet you. Come on, Doug, will you shake his hand? Why? Just for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to the bedroom, but um, are you gonna be okay down here? You guys gonna have sex? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'll be right upstairs if you need me. You're gonna let him, you know, rub your... Uh, yeah, probably gonna do that. <laughs> 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 hey, nice shirt. See ya. Hey, Brad, buddy. Great penis. Uh, you're in my parking spot. I hate to be that guy. Okay. All right, thanks. Uh, uh, Brad, I meant now. Oh. Uh.
Hmm? That's my spot right next to the recycling bin. Okay. Some guy like took off my mirror last year, so I don't want to be out in the street. Okay, I can do it in five minutes. No, it was seven. Hmm? Seven minutes. Oh. Brad, thank you. Okay, no problem. Oh. Doug, Doug, I'll do it. I will move the car. Just seven minutes. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you letting me know. Yeah, sorry, to, I, I don't want to be put in that position. Oh, totally. It's an open relationship, not an open parking spot. Oh. You understand? Mm -hmm. I'm not that guy. Thank you. It's a vehicle. I get it. No worries, buddy. Wait. Ah. 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 There you go. I appreciate it. Oh, hey, dude, I get it. Not a problem. Not a, not a problem at all, my friend. Oh. Hold. <laughs> Thanks. Plenty of room. Here, look. Plenty. Thank you. Just cut it, cut it. Here. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Come out, come and start again. It's okay, I got it. Come come forward. Just pull back. No, no, but cut it left. No, no, if sorry, you... you're a little close to the car. Sorry, I don't wanna back... I don't wanna hit you. It's okay. Hi, ma'am. Yeah? I think you might be a little close to this car oh, now. It's okay. I'm just trying to park. I I would pull out a little bit further. I just I'm worried about this car. I'm worried I, about I, I've actually got a pretty good view. I'm good. Thank you. No, I don't I don't you think have, you do. Great. There you go. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Right, 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 right. She doesn't right. have it. Ma'am? Yeah. I'm not gonna You're okay, just come back. Hey, I can help you, yeah. Just come out. Ma'am, yeah. just watch me here. Watch You're good. Me not here. Watch me here. Watch I need to here. not hit. Watch me here. Let's each get in a mirror. I'm in this mirror. Excuse me, ma'am, you wanna come back an inch? This is a foot. This inch is a foot. Now this way. Now this way. I want to come back two crackles and a smooth. Ma'am? This is the front of the car. You have so much room. Turn the rear wheels. Hi. Listen to the sound of my voice. I'm right here. I'm going to help you. You're fine. You have room. Hi. I'm right here, too. Go green, yellow, red, green. Green. Do you mind just moving out from the back of the car? Uh, you know what? I think we should do this European. What's that? So you want to pull out here? Or you're going to just come in perpendicular. Gonna, all right. I'm. You know, I'm going to park the... I'm gonna park the American way. Pull back, pull back. Yep, I got no, it. No, 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 push. No, you know no, what? I'm sink done. It. I'm done. I'm done. She's gone. All right, good. European style. Great. Okay, are we all on? Uh, this is Mary presenting yeah, the Vancouver. Gone. Sorry, is that Neil? Mary here from the Vancouver office. How's it going, everyone? Ted here. So, uh, it's been a little... Difficult managing a single company across three unique markets. Right, but we think the solution to our communications problem is VR headsets. So instead of us sort of raising the volume of our voices and trying to connect, we can actually see each other. I don't know that we really need to go that route. I think we should try it. Um, this is for you. Go ahead and put them on. And we'll be able to see each other. Uh, the joysticks are for your hands. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, look at that. <laughs> yes, it's impressive. Whoa. Yeah, um, so if we could return to the task at hand, which affects all our futures. Oh my God, check this out. Whoa. You guys, this is crazy. Uh-huh. Hey, what happens when I do this? I have wings. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> Whoa. Wait, mess around this side. Look at this, we can adjust our avatars. Oh, let me try. Whoa! What's happening? Your neck is very, very long. What happens if I do this? Whoa! <laughs> yes, well, I think it's long. Oh my God, God. you're in the table. What? Look at this, in the table. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, guys, um, does anyone know? Does anyone know how to get me out of the table? Yeah, um, so we seem to be experiencing supply delays. And unfortunately, it's going to require us to do significant downsizing. You guys, what does this look like? Whoa! Guys, is this cool? Tune in. I'm saying you are all fired. What? 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 Yes, actually, all of you are getting pink slips today. <sighs> Wait. <gasps> Guys, 
guys, uh, Neil here. Sorry I'm late. Whoa! <laughs> Neil, we're fired! Oh, hey, I, uh, was supposed to meet Claire here. Is she around? She's at work. Well, um, can I wait here with you, or do you want me to go outside, or? Do whatever, I don't care. You know, if I could, I could just show you one thing that might help you out here. If you just take this right here, lower it like this, tighten that, tighten that, and you're all set, see? Thanks. Yeah. Hey, I'm just gonna make some food. Are you hungry? Hmm, let's have some food. You're cutting up the hot dogs? Mm-hmm. Don't you like to eat them whole on the bun? Oh, I, I love them whole on a bun, but when I make them with the beans, then I like to cut them in the pieces. Can I try? Yeah, come on, give it a shot. Come on, go over here. Here, take your own dog. Just take the knife. Yep, <laughs> you're doing it, Doug. Nice cutting. It goes in there. Right in there. There you go. <laughs> See that? Yeah. And when we cook these up, mm, it's gonna be yummerific. Here, let me show you something else. See the sandwich? Watch this. What about the crust? The crust gets cut off, because I don't like the crust. Do you like the crust? No. No, nobody likes the crust. Here, just like, oh, there you go. Like that? That's it. Oh. How are my boys? Good. We're having fun. This looks interesting, guys. Mm. Hey, thanks for the sweet text today. What text? Oh, <laughs> I just sent Brad like a little kiss emoji. I didn't get a kiss emoji. Oh, but we text all the time, Doug. You know what, though? I do think that if you're going to text me, you should text Doug, too. That just seems like extra work. Right, but there's two of us. It's not really work if you enjoy it. <clears throat> ipsy, tipsy, go. go. Hey, hold on. Claire? Claire. Yeah? Hey, do you want to come in here with us? I actually just opened a bottle of red if you want to. I'll take a beer. Well, they're in the fridge. Sorry, babe. Yeah, we're, we're playing. Sorry, babe. <laughs> you little, you're, you're, you're hitting somebody else. <laughs> oh, how'd you get up? Hey. Hey. Hey, you know what? Actually, let me just, would you mind? Yeah, that's better if just, thanks. There you go. Yeah, Sue, <laughs> got your email. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I got the email. <laughs> Totally ready for sex. Whatever you want, just let me know. We love you. <laughs> Claire, you want to do the taste test? Ugh. Come on, Claire, this is for you. It's about your needs. Brad, I actually think you should go home. This is his home. Well, I'd like my house back. So if you guys are going to hang out, I guess I'm going to go sleep on the couch. <laughs> we'll see you there. The new Plains Evergreen Line, from Minnesota to the West Coast, experience the beauty of America. Come see us in Minnesota. In North Dakota. Montana. Idaho. And this is where I come in, Oregon. We got passed by last year because it went straight through Washington into Seattle. Not this year. Isn't this exciting? Very exciting. And how are we going to shoot this, sir? Helicopter, Sam. Like this one. Got a camera on the front? Yeah. I think this is the right spot. Seems like the right spot. I mean, we're at the highest point on the hill, right? Yeah. And we'll, we'll certainly hear the helicopter before it arrives, and we'll, we probably will see it. And Oregon! And Oregon! You don't think it's or Oregon, do you? Mm. Or Oregon. Oregon. And Oregon. And Oregon. And Oregon. Or, Oregon. or Oregon. I think and Oregon sounds better, but I think or Oregon is more grammatically correct, but or Oregon sounds very strange. And Oregon. And Oregon. That, see, that and makes Oregon. more sense. That feels more comfortable to me to go and Oregon. And Oregon. And Oregon. And Oregon. Sam, you can't be here when it comes over. That's only supposed to be me. Oh. But I need you up here. Okay. 
So maybe you can gather some weeds and turn yourself into a shrubbery. And then when it flies over, you're just going to crouch down and you become like a little bush. And we're still close enough, I think. So. If we hear anything, we'll be okay. Sam, hurry! Head to Oregon! Head to Oregon! Head to Oregon! Oh! Shoot. Uh, wrong helicopter. Yeah. I wonder what they're doing way out here. Well, that was a good trial run. I had a weird thing the other day. Remember that those journalists that came in, the photojournalists, wanted to do a big story? Yeah. You know, they, there were a lot of them for just a photo shoot. There's like 10 people there. And it's just me, you know, and they took a few pictures, and which was nice. And then they all like got really happy. And they were all clapping, right? And they were like, congratulations. And they were all high-fiving each other and back slapping. And I was like, it's just a few pictures. Yeah. I, don't know, I didn't really understand that. The new Plains Evergreen Line experience the beauty of America. Come see us in Minnesota. In North Dakota. Montana. And or anywhere in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, this is really nice. Hey there. Keep an eye out. There's a barred owl up there. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. I don't see anything. Did you say it was? Oh, no! No, 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 oh. no! Pat, it's, it's okay. It's not okay. I killed its snail. It's a delicate little shell, and I just stomped on it like a Frankenstein. Come on. He was minding his own business? I need to do some soul searching. I'm just gonna just walk for a little while. Okay. <sighs> Hello? Ah! Oh, my ears are you're talking really loud. Hi, um, I'm a human. You're still yelling. Is this a better volume? It's fine. Who are you? Um, as you can tell, I'm, I'm a human being. And I, I was just walking through the forest, and I have something to tell you. Can you guys all hear me? Ooh, gossip. We love gossip. It's not gossip. Uh, it's, it's something a little more urgent. We want gossip. Yeah! Tell us your gossip. I'll, I'll think of some gossip for you. This is a little more on the serious side. Fine. Okay, so I was walking around back there, and I'm bigger than you guys. And you know, you, you camouflage pretty well into the ground. It's not your fault. And I wasn't looking down, and I, and I stepped on one of you guys. So is the snow dead? I believe so. And I am so sorry. I feel horrible. That's not a problem. Being a snail sucks. We want to die. What? Look at us. We're made of slime. People think we're gross. I do notice that it's a very, you guys go really slow. I mean, that must be frustrating. The snail's pace. I have a hold of it. That's you guys. Yeah, a snail's pace. We're the worst animal. Can you do us a favor? Sure. Could you kill us? No. It's going to make me feel terrible. Come on. All snails want to die. Yeah. Can you kill us? You want to die? Do it. On Just kill it. Don't feel fine, because we'll feel fine. I'll do one. Yes. Kill us. We want that sweet release. Me too. Maybe I'll do two. That's right. right. Step on us. Do it. Stop do it now. All right, everybody, calm do down. It. Do it now. Calm do it. down. Stop on me. Do it. Kill us. Please now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And you? I feel much better now. 
Good, I was uh, really worried about you. Oh. Et voilà, escargot for monsieur and for madame. Merci beaucoup. Bon appétit. All right, let's dig in. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. What happened? Were you crying? Ask her. Doug, I'm ending things with Brad. What? You can't do that? No. Claire, get him a Kleenex or something. I don't understand. I'm having such a great time, and what happened to the whole open relationship thing? I'm not happy. Mm, that's I mean, Brad, it's not you. It's her. Thanks for saying that, Doug. Means a lot to me. No, it is him. It's one of you, and one of me. No. I mean, it's definitely not me. <laughs> hey, I, I don't have anything to fidget with. Thank you. Could we turn on a light or something? It's really dark. No. It's a, it's a breakup. Can I speak? Can I say something? Do you hear yourself right now? Do you hear yourself? I loved you both! Those aren't my words. No, of course I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doug, this is Brad, who I've been telling you about. It's not really work if you enjoy it. It's not really work if you enjoy it. It's not really work if you enjoy it. I loved you both. Come on, Claire, this is for you. I thought of it that way. Doug, I'd like to have an open relationship. Have an open relationship. Have an open relationship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not, you're not listening. But you're neat. I didn't get a kiss emoji. Brad, I actually think you should go home. I can't see anything. Will you please turn on a light? Fine. Hey, guys. Jesus. I'm Shannon. I'm your fourth. You didn't park in my spot by any chance, did you? No. Awesome. <clears throat> Never mind on the breakup, right? I'm Officer Carolyn Mazzola. And I'm Officer Martin Powers. Spikes in population have made Portland traffic worse than ever before. And that's why we've built even more lanes. And with our updated sticker system, you can have access to a designated lane just for you. It's that simple. Just pick a pick lane. Pick a lane. And Remember stick to it. What does that mean? So remember your lane. Pick a lane. lane. Now lanes one and two are for single occupant vehicles. Affix the sticker to the front bumper to the left. Six lane is for motorcycles only. Your motorcycle needs a sticker. Lane eight is for people who are proud of their babies. The 13th lane is for hearses. There's a lane specially for art cars. Put the sticker right underneath the burnt out baby bottle nipples. You don't have figurines on your car, you don't belong in that lane. You hold it from here. There's a... Are you pushing or pulling? There you go, right there. These are your stickers, only some of them. Empty limousines. Electric vehicles. TV and movie replica cars. Twins wearing the same outfit. Old trucks. Bicycles. rent cars Dented up van. No matter what your car looks like, it gets its own lane. That's pretty great. Applying for a lane is easy. Just fill out our online enrollment form. Or just come by the DMV where one of our patented lane scanners will determine a lane for you. The fifth lane is for drivers who are picking up a college guest speaker from the airport. How's your flight? Not bad. Uh, slept some of the way. Uh, how long have you... Uh, Lived in the city. Oh, most of my life, since I was like five. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, six, since I was six. This whole area, this is all brand new. None of this was here. Oh. 
Yeah. <sighs> Fridays. Pick your lane and stick in your lane. That's the law. Screaming. I thought you might misunderstand that, but the way I like to think of it is it's just me, me doing, doing you. Doing you, yeah. you were doing you. Yeah. I'm so glad that, that this is just you doing you. I'm just living my truth. Great. Yeah. See you later. Living your truth. I hope this doesn't look bad. It does kind of look bad. I thought you'd think that. But you do you, right? Yes. It's the only way to be. Greg Johnson, you're under arrest for murder. Wait, hold on. I was just living my truth. Let's save it for the judge. No, no, no. Listen, with all due respect, you're an officer of the law. You have to do you. But I'm just a human being trying to live my truth. You do you and... I'll do me. Wow. I, I'm so sorry. I never want to get in the way of someone living their truth and being their authentic self. Let's get those off of you. Thanks, buddy. You do you, okay? You're an officer, and you do you. All you guys, do yourselves. Live your truths. Hey, well, what about my truth, which is that I live next door to a neo-Nazi and a murderer? Yeah, you might want to move. Was, was that? That was an earthquake. Was I screaming? Fred, we, we don't have an earthquake hit. We don't have canned goods or bottled water. Like, if the big one happened, what would we even do? Hey, welcome to Disaster Hut. So I'm just gonna ask you some basic questions to craft a customized disaster preparedness kit tailored exactly to your survival needs. Great, so this is good for earthquakes? Oh yeah, earthquakes, typhoons, tornadoes, super virus, big landslides, you name it, we handle it. Let's talk beans. Beans? Yeah, so we have fava, kidney, garbanzo, navy, pinto, black, cannellini, and lima. Kidney. Kidney, great choice. Uh, could I just do like a variety of canned soups? Of course you can. So you, you can do like a variety? I I'll have soup. I already... Check kidney for you. All right. So kidney beans. You know what? I'd love a sparkling rosé. Sparkling rosé. And actually, what about a six-pack of beer? Okay, so I have that for you. And oh, would you like a quiche Lorraine? Yeah, I'll do a fettuccine. Fettuccine. Some avocado toast. That comes with mixed greens, fruit, or house potatoes. I'll do the mixed greens for dessert. I would just love like a creme brulee. Do you have that? Mm, or? We only have lavender creme brulees right now. The other ones are gone. That sounds really delicious. Okay. I can't have any of that, correct? No. Like, I, I shouldn't even attempt to talk you into no. taking my order. Well, I have your orders, because for you, I have a sparkling rosé, quiche Lorraine, fettuccine, avocado toast, mixed greens on the side with the house dressing, and to finish, a lavender creme brulee. And for you, 60 cans of kidney beans. Okay, now, 
Desert Island Disc. Now, the odds that you're gonna end up in an island with your disaster preparedness kit and a record player very low. People have fun with this one. Here's one idea, please don't mark it down. Fleetwood Mac Rumors. That is so good. Okay. Uh, don't write it down because I might have listened to it too much already, which means that something like Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac might be a better choice. Maybe I'll consider Sandinista. Triple album. Triple album, the mm -hmm. Clash album. Maybe. Or we could do a sound effects record. You know, creaking door, or you know, a basketball that's like not inflated all the way. Nothing has ever sounded like that. When a basketball is it, it no. disinflated a little bit. It doesn't bit. go scatoink. Nothing ever I, goes scatoink. I love this argument. It absolutely does. No, where's the doink? Go out to a playground, you'll hear scatoink. No, it's not scatoink. Scatoink. There's a slap sound in there too. There's no scatoink. I think there is, and that's why we should get this record. Great. You know what? I listen to Rihanna's anti all the time. I'll just do that. Yeah. Oh, whoa. That could be it. That could be the big one. I like the echoey one. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. I like that, like, creaky gate. Yeah. Gesundheit. Bless you. Thanks. Sorry, guys. What is it, allergies? Yeah, I think so. Are your eyes itchy? Yeah, they're just watery and runny. You have to take uh, antihistamine. Yeah. Oh, OK. I actually have some. Make yourself out. Thanks. Jamie, I wouldn't do an antihistamine. It's going to dry you out. OK. What I do, blow nace, a couple squirts, you'll be on Breathy Street. You want to try some? Uh, sure, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Kelly. These are really great suggestions. Thank you both. Feel better. I hope you feel better. <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh, geez. Wow. I think it's more than just allergies, isn't it? It's just a cold or something. I found some soul asparagus. It draws out all the mucus and blood, and it just I'm sorry, it draws out all the blood? Yeah. Jamie, this isn't going to cure your cold, but it's going to make your heart smile. That's really nice. Hi, I would like to make an appointment with uh, a Dr. Foster, please. I think I might have sinus infection or something, so I might need a antibiotics. OK, yeah, thank you. Antibiotics? Doctor? You don't want to do that. I just need to follow whatever the doctor says, and then that will get better. Jamie, I've got something. Please come here. This is 100% cocaine. I want you to snort this whole thing. You can also shoot it up. Where did you get cocaine? I go to a book club once a month in Colombia. We read a little Elena Ferrante, and then it's just a total snowstorm. OK. Jamie. Yeah. Okay. Come here. You can make opioids out of this poppy plant. I got this from the Taliban. I don't want to learn how to make opiates. A urine transplant will clear out anything that's ailing you. Jamie. Take this machete and cut it off as soon as you start seeing any of the infection. Jamie. You're just getting your urine everywhere. And it's really dark. Jamie. Pollen. Jamie. Vitamin C. Jamie. <coughs> Timidrill. Jamie. Oregano <coughs> oil. Jamie. 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 If you get a massage right at the base of the neck, Jamie? Jamie. I think she's dead. She's dead? Mm-hmm. You must have not done it all, or maybe only taken some of the medicine. She's probably a cremator in case she's still contagious. Yeah, put the ashes in the ground, bury the ashes. Good idea. You're not getting sick, are you? Sorry you get outbid in that house in Selwood, right? You know my saying, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't meant, meant to, be. to be. This one I've got a really good feeling about. Isn't it beautiful? It seems so big. Um, yes and no. I mean, you're going to need room for like a second car, a third car. I don't even know if it really seems like my kind of house. Yeah, but that's because your animal topiaries aren't up yet. Come on. It's exactly you. This is perfect for you. You're going to live here. I could live and in a house the size of this room alone. But you you haven't seen it filled. I would move the entryway here. This seems to make more sense. Oh, hi, Wendy. I'm going to tell you a little something about her when we're done, when we're outside. 
I had a screaming match with her recently. Okay, so this room, you can put your in-laws in here so you don't have to see them. <laughs> I'm not married. I mean, what about my own parents? Oh, well, I'm sorry, I just assumed they were dead. I feel like you're pretty close to getting married. And this right here is where you're gonna cook for your wife. Oh, actually, I date men, though. Let the house decide who you are. All right, your wet bar is gonna go right over here. You're gonna hang your portrait right over there. Little chair for when you're 80 years old. Grandkids running around you, you're gonna ask you for candy. Give me chocolate, give me chocolate. Do not yell at them, whatever you do. I won't. Personally, I think a little spank on the touch of the thing is okay. And your receptionist desk, right over there. Oh, for, for what? Your production company. And from the landing, you'll be making your speeches, looking down on everybody. Oh, I was down there. Oh, your employees, your butler, your kids, Thaddeus and Margaret. But I, I told you I don't have... Oh, well, you'll adopt another kid from Greenland. Philip is gonna have his nanny. Luann is gonna live in a little room right off of the kitchen. Her ex-husband's gonna visit all the time. That's Rick. Don't talk to Rick. Okay, don't talk to him. I'm serious. He's codependent, he's on OxyContin. Wow, okay. Sandra, I'm... you're gonna get this house. Are you sure I shouldn't look at something smaller? No, absolutely not. Buy the house for the life that you want, not the life that you have. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, is that it? Yep. Cool. Thank you. Dave, mm -hmm. we got invited to the Oregon Hiker Council's annual meeting. Oh, great, when is it? It's Saturday. Great. Yep, hors d'oeuvres, tech talk, and uh... a photo booth. Why? Remember what happened last time? Let's call someone. Yeah. Let me tell you a little bit about myself, shall I? Yes. Okay, um, I have a background in having my picture taken, so I'm very good at it, and I just thought this is a business that needs to be started because people need help, right? Like, what was happening in this photograph? This is uh, for our wedding guests. We wanted to give them that. Would you like one? You gave people this photograph? Ma'am. So th let's like look at this one, right? Uh, this is specifically a photo booth picture and you're not in it. What happened here? I, I actually am. No. She's right, she was right there. Right, that's out of the picture. But that's the camera's business. Mm -hmm. That's their problem. And we kicked that machine really hard. And then got kicked out of the party. So I think I can help you guys. And we're gonna have to start with the basics. Like, this is very good, yes. Oh. <laughs> I raise my hand first. Oh. Both of you, go. Okay, rule of thirds, Di diagonals, framing devices, break, break the, the rules. rules. Great, okay. I did it from memory. No, you didn't, you were reading it. But now I have it. Rule, rule of thirds. thirds. So every third picture is the one that you're gonna use. Are you taking your picture? No. Laughing, do you ever practice laugh? Can you do that now? <laughs> <laughs> that laugh frightened me. <laughs> now your issue is that you move so much. I can't help it. Well, what do you do when you're sleeping? Okay, when you're drinking coffee. When you're sick. Okay, that's not bad. Can you both do this? Both do this. Yes! Now do this. Huh? Click! Please, yes! This is beautiful! Pose and click, and pose and click. This is beautiful. You are so ready. Oh. Right on props. Yep. You cannot borrow them. Come on, let's go. Rule of thirds, everyone. Everyone know the Want rule of thirds? Want a good photo? Please hurry along. I see you. Got it. Oh, wait. Damn it. Good. Delete that one. <laughs> one. Two. Okay, third, third. Three. <laughs> Diagonal. Tweet spot. Glamorous. Looking good. <laughs> Catalog. <laughs> <laughs> more. Let's do more. We need another hour in here. Cooking. <laughs> oh! Hey, can you believe that Jasmine's still going? I know, it's incredible, right? Oh no. Valerie! She wasn't on that for more than a minute. I say we take her to the hospital. Do you think we can sue the trampoline company? Oh, we're gonna sue, believe me. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. James, you got an injury call nine one and about 43 people on the Nia, I, I just want to drink a sip of coffee. Of course, of course. Not even eight o'clock in the morning. Yet. Of course. 43 people. How did they call this early in the morning? People, uh, people are ready to go. 
Hi, legal department. This is James Donnelly. All right, it bent which way? Oh, that's terrible. You did see the age limit on there, did you not? You did see it. Okay, that's great. Uh, can we offer you $1 million? You'll think about it. Of course you can think about it. You don't need to think about it. Okay. Hello, yes. What happened? Her ponytail got caught where? His ponytail. I'm so sorry. You gotta tell me what's... I'm, so, I'm sorry. I... Fine. Uh, $1 million? Okay. Garden party trampoline legal department. Why was a dog on there? No, I suppose you're correct. There is no warning about that. Uh, can we offer you $1 million? Wonderful. Okay. Kid's foot looks like a spider now. What line is it? Line three. Hello, garden party trampoline. You hurt yourself on the box. One million dollars? You'll take it. Thank you. Whew. Can we take a breath, please? Hi, legal department. Would you like one million dollars? Okay, can we settle for one million dollars? Well, how does one million dollars sound? One million dollars. Great. Legal department, one million dollars. Legal department, one million dollars. Legal department. Hi, would you like one million dollars? Hey. Oh, Nia. Why, why, why? Come with me. Let's look at the map. Let's take a look at the map. Hey, Tom. So, looking good here, uh, I think we're gonna be able to settle. Uh, what happened to that swimming pool one? Someone had it in their pool and it got soggy. You know, I, I was able to transfer a culpability over to the pool. Why are we appealing now, this? We're not appealing, the client is. Now, a uh, safety department would love you to take a look at something. All right, that's great. Are there labels on that? Guys, make sure this warning is on everything, okay? If you don't see a warning, put a sticker on it. Do you think there's anyone who buys a trampoline ever who doesn't file a lawsuit? I don't know, James. How do they turn a profit? I don't understand. Well, I, for one, work for free. You do? Yeah. Why? Because I love trampolines. So everyone's really excited to show you this. It's a trampoline skateboard. Do you have any idea how many calls I get every day? Do you have any idea? Huh? Well, you know, we just need your legal input, and uh, then we'll be good to go. Right, Bob? Uh, make it smaller, perhaps? And okay. Isn't I want to exciting? talk to you about this. This, you can't put a trampoline on top of it. Do you want a million dollars? Two. Okay, we'll write you a check. Thank you so much for coming to this birthday celebration. I have so much to be thankful for. 30 years ago, when I got this house, I had nothing. But thanks to the vision of a pushy realtor, Hugo, I, uh, I was allowed to dream. <laughs> I got a receptionist, and then I needed something for the receptionist to do, so I started a lifestyle brand, Soup, S-O-O-P, Single Owners of Outside Properties. Soup's on. <laughs> So thank you to my employees. Thank you to my beautiful wife, Madeline, our lovely children, Margaret, Philip, my valet, my pool guy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Who are you? Sandra Pauls. We've been tracking you ever since you so recklessly moved your door two feet over. You're $10 million in debt. Who is the idiot who made you think you could afford this house? I'm sorry. But as of today, you're being evicted. Well, happy birthday to me. Well, that's what you get for living your truth. I am so glad to finally be here, you guys. Thank you for having me in. And uh, how's was, how was Denver? Denver's great. I uh, saw a Rockies game. That's always fun. You know, I love what they've done with that stadium. Mm -hmm. Just really revamped that whole yeah. area. And they've got some great restaurants. I mean, that place is really cool. You still have a cow town, but now it's a good food. Oh, I love, yeah. I love Denver. A lot of it. Michael, you've been to Denver, right? I was there for two hours. And I thought I was going to be really cute, and I, I got myself a Denver omelet. Oh my goodness. I'm probably not the first person who's gone through that. But that's an opportunity for us. That's what I was saying earlier about the residential component mm -hmm. of the overall model would allow for growth there, which again. Uh, something I wanted to, to bring up was just. Uh, well, this project in particular, you know, I think what we're looking at is uh, 
uh, too prodigious of a water feature in terms of the uh, aeration of the golf course, you know, I see. You know, I, I think it's, it's going to be great. Guys, all we need is NGF approval. I'm not worried about them at all. No. You know, I know those guys, and uh, yeah, they're really happy with the uh, low carbon footprint right. of this, you know. Not, not you know, kind of things, being some new paintings. I was happy even before I saw it. Mm -hmm. I was, oh my God. <laughs> I go, you know what? I approve, but I want the color changed. And I want this whole thing yellow. <laughs> Right. Remember how much you laughed? <laughs> and I said yellow. <laughs> there aren't a lot of these properties going up as it is. The Grabfoot driving range cuts 20% off our water use. The first thing I said was, I approve. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. Remember that, Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really need you to, you know, look at this and make sure right. That is really good. Huh? It's good that you do that. Yeah, well, somehow, I think it's more cost effective. Mm -hmm. You know, for the whole group. I was worried about for communities. Uh, hey, buddy. The no phones. We have a no phone policy at the meetings, buddy. Mr. Mayor, is everything okay? You, uh, you, you said it was urgent. It's very urgent. Uh, so, sorry, my, my crystal reading skills are just a little rusty. Oh, what? You mean my earwax sculptors? No. That's not it. It's this. Did you see this? It's common knowledge. Portland is very white. Yes, but least diverse? Least? I don't want to be the least at anything. You know, I actually think that's a great idea. I think it's a good time to do some soul searching, to ask ourselves those tough questions. Tough. Well, the only tough questions I want to ask is why that journalist is printing these lies. I have many people of color working here at City Hall. Many people of color. That's great. Yes. Sam, get in here. Yes, sir. Sam, are you white? I am. Oh, damn it. But you're gay, right? Yes. A rainbow isn't white. Um, Jesse, mm -hmm. Phil, Susan, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Darn it. It's still white. Uh, this is not right. Darn it. Wait, wait. Who are you? Um, I'm Mike. Mike, what is your position here at City Hall? Oh, I'm, I'm just visiting. I could never live in this city. This city is too... Don't say it. White. Wet. Wet? White? What? Wait. Wait. No! I'm sorry, Mike. Thank you. We'll work on making this city less wet. <sighs> this is awful. Mr. Mayor, you know that I'm not white. You're not white? Mm-mm. You know, I always suspected. I just thought you were maybe sick or had that thing that Vin Diesel has. No, no. My dad's Korean and my mom is from Venezuela. How is that possible? Those countries are very far apart. Isn't that crazy? How do you know all this? I took one of those home DNA tests. They're great if they tell you where you're from, like down to a percentage. Really? Hardly anybody is 100% European. Hardly anyone is 100% European. Well, this could be great. What could? Well, we just need to test the entire city of Portland. Oh, Fred. Sam, Sam, yes, Sam. We need to have DNA testing on all the citizens of Portland. Would you get on that? That sounds slightly Thank unconstitutional. Thank you. That's fantastic. We are going to prove to that journalist that we are actually very diverse. This is kind of exciting. I might be a little Norwegian. Oh, I don't think so, Carrie. I have an eye for Scandinavian women, and they're much taller than you, and also blonder. Tiger Stadium? That is not the oldest in the country. That's bullshit. It was rebuilt in the 40s. No one remembers that or writes it down, but yeah. So, you guys gotta get some salmon burgers. Go get a salmon burger. I made a bunch of them. Hey. What's up, buddy? You enjoying the party? Yeah, this is a cool party. I'm great yeah. to have you here. Ah, you're nice. Thank you very much. Hey. So, um, it's crazy what's going on in Venezuela right now. Hard, hard to believe. I don't think it's hard to believe. I think it's easy to believe. Right? Chavez put Maduro in power exactly for this reason, right? Because there's all this chaos that breeds dependency. It's the kind of chaos that they like. That's our monster. We created like a, a Frankenstein. What's, what's Venezuela's main export? Um, no. Oil. So what's America's investment? Money. No, oil companies. Ah, we're standing here with our dicks in our hand. We're shitting bombs out of our asses. Guess what's gonna blow up? Our own assholes. Damn, I didn't even know all that. Yeah, but you know what? It's pretty crazy. But it's all out there. Man, it's 
crazy what's going on in Venezuela. What's going on? What was it, 1979, we put those guys there? Hmm? We sell them oil. Doesn't Venezuela produce oil? A billion, a billion dollars. Uh, uh. Hi, sorry to bother you. I was at your party the other day. We talked about politics in Venezuela. I remember you, yes, hi. Yeah. I just embarrassed myself at work, and you seem so knowledgeable about politics and the world. How do you do it? It's so easy. It's a trick. I just memorize a few things about one little subject and just focus on those. Uh, say for me, it's a country, right? So I pick Venezuela. What you do is you just remember a leader from there. Uh, a year that they were in office. Well, what if I would have brought up a different subject? You steer the conversation back to that subject. Huh. So, okay, pick out any subject matter. Go ahead, you start talking about it. What about like ancient Greece? No, like in Venezuela with Maduro and Chavez? They put them there. It's a vacuum. Bush, let's do it for you. There you go, Southeast Asia. So just pick out one. Cambodia. Oh, this is great. No one's gonna challenge you on this. So look at that page, find a sentence that has uh, a number in it. Cambodia, independence in 1953. Memorize that. Prime Minister Hun Sen. Yes, perfect. So Hun Sen, remember that name. That's it. And you wanna throw in some curses. You know, you wanna be a little rock and roll. Just a little pepper it, a little, you know, we're holding our dicks. Okay. All right? Holding our dicks. You know what's a good one? Those think that they can get away with that? And right away, you've got passion in there. That's it, that's all you need. And who put the Khmer Rouge into power? We did. President Ford was college roommates with Hun Sen, and they got their independence in, what was that, 1953. But they had a puppet in power. Puppet. 1953. All right. Starving. Me too, Tove. This has been like five days, right? Five days and they still haven't met our demands. <sighs> it's a struggle to breathe. That's how hungry I am. Is there anything that's like eating but you're not really eating? If I got like lemon seeds and just sort of like sucked on them? That's kind of horrible. They haven't met our demands and we are going nowhere. We'll be right here. How about a hunger strike cheat day? If just really quick we get some sesame seeds, you know, suck on them for a little while, put some stuff in our mouths, and come right back. All right, one Caesar salad. Would we like anything else today? No, this, this is all that we want. We're barely gonna eat this at all. Okay. All right, we're gonna ignore the croutons. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this lettuce and just for the green, so that I can stay alive, I'm just gonna like, just put it behind my teeth. And your complimentary quesadilla. No, 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 no. We did not order this. We are just sticking with the salad. They, they come together. All right, thanks. What do we do? Well, they made, okay. We're not gonna eat. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to breathe in some of the, the dust from the, the tortilla. Yes. <laughs> Eat it, whatever you do. They haven't met our demands, and we are going nowhere. 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 <laughs> There's cheese in the egg roll. Put that right over there. Don't eat it, Mom. The meatballs. Can I have a couple more, please? One, two, one, two, one. Hey, Josh. What do you think? These dunkers are good. Yeah! These dunkers are good. These dunkers are good. 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 Yeah! These dunkers are good. Dun dunkers. These dunkers are good. He's good. Dun good. He's good. They're good. They're good. Dun 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 dun
Good. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Portland's Potluck of People, a night where we celebrate the diversity that is our great city of Portland. You know, before DNA testing, we were 75% white. Now, there is scarcely a white person in the entire city of Portland. We are more diverse than New York City or even Detroit. Huh? Now, to show our journalist friend just how this works, I'm going to have Fred read the latest results of our DNA testing. Fred? Great. Thank you so much. Uh, all right, is Judd here? Just come on up. All right, Judd's genetic breakdown is 98% Northern European, 1% broadly European, 0.5% Ashkenazi Jew, 0.25% African, 0.25% other. 0.25% African. I'm black. Yes. Congratulations, Judd. Well, we lost another white person, but the melting pot continues to grow. Well, Anna, as you can see, Portland is much more diverse than how you characterized us in your article. Ah. Well, look, there's Tim. Hey, Tim. <laughs> I mean, when are you going to see something like that? Coachella. My favorite festival. Hi, Carrie. Hey. Nice hat. Thank you. I mean, obviously, I went to Warren this a week ago. That would have been offensive. But, you know, I just wanted to acknowledge my heritage. I can see that. Uh, oh, uh, Carrie can teach you how to use chopsticks. I know how to use chopsticks. Oh, but have you learned from an actual Japanese person? And Chico, our token white guy. And I've got a little Scottish in me as well. Oh, I love Scotland. Oh, I'll tell you what. What you need to do is take a trip to Scotland. Learn how to play golf. All that's all that is to it. All right. That sounds perfect. <laughs> Fred, why don't you tell Anna about the play you're working on? Yes. Oh, this is great. It's called Purple Roots. And it's uh, part color purple, part roots. It's about a black hair salon in the Depression era South. Yeah, all black cast. Mm. What? Incredible. How about you, Mr. Mayor? Did you find that you had a little uh, fawns in your DNA? You know, it turns out I am 110% Puerto Rican. How is that possible? Anna asking in Spanish. ¿Cómo es eso posible? Hey. I can't decide if we should do the seven course or the 12 course prefix. Um, I think 12 course. It's a special night. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mmm. 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 Mm. Steak tartare. That's raw. <gasps> raw like you. Mmm. Whoa. Oh my God. I'm gonna finish this whole thing. Oh, I can taste young onions. I like your young onions. I like your cream. Mmm. Ugh. Oh. This is the mushroom stroganoff. I'd like you to stroke mine off. Oh, I'm going to. Mmm. 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 Whoa. Oh, more pasta. So much meat. It's a zoo in here. I want to visit that zoo. Get in my cage. Mm. Mm. All right, let's go home. The night is still young. Oh, I love you. I love you. Do you want to be on top? Oh, I should be on top. No. Can we be both, both be on the bottom? All right. I'll be on the bottom, too. Yeah. How do we do it? I think what I need is to take my stomach and rest it on the bed. Okay. I'm sorry. Ooh, sloshing. There you go. Uh, I'm having trouble. This is squash. Yeah. I'm trying to rest my belly on your back. Oh. The squash was too creamy, I think. This is... Oh, yeah. I'm settling in. Yeah. There you go. I have to go. I have to throw up. Hey, hold on. Ouch. Oh, great. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. Don't take too long, right? Because I have to use the bathroom, too. Okay. Don't come back yet. I'm going to fart real quick. <laughs> Honey. Take too long, okay? I have to go to the bathroom too. And as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna come out here and finish making love to you. Yeah, um, I uh I need another minute. Okay. Um it's okay. Please don't touch me. It sounds like there's no 
Nothing left. It's all air. Is that you or me? It's me. Wait, here's me. It's a shrimp. I love you so much. I love you too. That's what I'm thinking. Breakfast? I'm starving. Check this out. It's a pull quote from the article. It's a what? From the article. Oh, wait, the article. I, I want to see it. The journalist sent over a preview of, of what's going to be printed today, but um, we need to come up with a response at some point in time. Fine, I just want to see the article. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's... Um... No, 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 let's see it, let's see oh, it. Oh, you got it right there. Okay, yeah. I'd love to see yeah. it. Wait. Oh, oh Mr. No. Mayor. No, it's okay. We're the most something city. Are you legally allowed to do that? You know, with the bumper stickers and the shirt and everything? Oh, it's, well, it's, it's a direct quote from the, from, the, from the title. This is a gross mischaracterization of what she's saying. But I needed to shorten it so that it would fit on a bumper sticker. Wait a minute. So you saw the preview of the article and then you had bumper stickers and shirts made? Yes. How many bumper stickers? Well, we have these five. And? And 5,000 more. Well, how recently did you see this? We, go, we move quickly. We should sue that testing company. They didn't say we weren't allowed to celebrate the results. No. We just have to come up with a response to this to counter these allegations. We need a distraction. There's going to be think pieces about this. We need a new news story to make everyone forget about this one. Animals. Animals are good. Animals are good. A pregnant panda. People love pregnant pandas. Or like a bear who goes swimming in someone's swimming pool. Came down from the mountain. We found him in our swimming pool. That's great. Let's call some zoos. Call zoos. Let's call zoos. OK. Hello, zoo. Hi, Portland Zoo. Do you have any uh, hippos that are friends with chimpanzees? They had a falling out. How are you, Oregon Zoo? Do you have uh, any snakes who know sign language? Hi, are there any reports of alligators who are interested in marrying uh, a human? Oh, the mayor? Thank you. I got it. This is great. We got two rare tortoises having sex. Yes. Uh-huh. And no, tell me that's not true. Oh. Thanks for trying. He pulled out. That's it. This is terrible. No one is going to want to come to Portland ever again. Great piece. Great piece. Ah, this Did is it. so exciting. This is an incredible story. And now this is a bright, shining light on the problem. Nobody can ignore yes. it. Yes. I'm just so proud to have listen, you on my staff. Listen, I just got an anonymous tip, and you're, you're going to want to hear this. What is it, Francesca? Did the mayor step down? No. Portland is getting a Whole Foods 365. What? Oh, my God. On opening day, they're giving away free ice cream. Oh, my God. Yeah, but we're, we're leading with my story. Right, Dick? Well, I mean... Sir, congratulations are in order. Holy guacamole! Hi. Hi, uh, ID, please? Yes, so 
I was wondering if there's some way I can get on an earlier flight today. Sure, hold on. I know it looks like I'm searching earlier flight times or cross-referencing incoming data. I'm actually working on my novel. The wooden gate closed. All right, nothing right now. Uh, do you have any bags to check? I have just one bag. Okay. I'm working on a novel about my grandmother's childhood. She grew up on a corn farm. Here at Oregon Air, we're proud to present our Writers in Residency program. It's a writing retreat for those who don't want open-ended time. It only takes me one second to find another booking, but he doesn't know that. Excuse me? Uh, found another flight for $2,500. $2,500? Uh, yeah. Let me see if I can find something cheaper. Yes, I'd appreciate that. While most writing retreats offer natural beauty and freedom from worry, here at Oregon Air, we offer access to a loud, springy keyboard and an agitated, bustling environment. Will you do me a favor, please? Uh, will you put me on another airline? Uh, I'd love to try. Hi, I'm Cheryl Strayed, best-selling author from Portland. After a traveler was so disappointed in my customer service that she threatened to walk the whole way, I thought, wow. That would be a great book. So I wrote Wild. Thank you, Oregon Air. And you want a refill? Peter, you want some more coffee? Sure. Great. You know, I saw something very interesting on the internet. I know. A woman found a cardboard box. Good for her. Well, it was full of puppies, Peter. Someone had abandoned puppies. Uh -huh. Then what? Well, nothing. That's that's the end of the story. <laughs> what are you what are you looking at over there? This? It's Pink. You know her profile. Pink the pop singer? Yeah, it's all the photos. Oh, I thought we only followed each other. On we, we do, except for for Pink. Right. So what's your favorite Pink song? I I didn't know you were such a fan. Well, I I don't know. I mean, her, her songs don't matter as much as her whole attitude. Uh -huh. What's her attitude? Just Positive. Right. Well, I didn't realize you were such a big fan, but you know what? I don't want to get in the way of a new friendship. I would never do that. And I'm really happy that you have a new friend. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah. Peter! Oh, Peter, what's wrong? Pink is really sad. She misses her family and she's on tour and oh, she's just far away. Peter, there are bigger tragedies in the world. What's on your mouth? Well, oh, it's probably just some toothpaste. Yeah, it's, it's pretty messy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is it? Oh, it's the same picture. All right, here you go. <sighs> what, I didn't make the eggs the way you like them? You don't think you, we have any, uh, like, homemade pickles, do we? Just like a, some pickles? Oh, mm, I don't think so. Why? Pink does these homemade pickles in jars. She gives them out as gifts. So I thought it might look nice if we had some something green, even just in, in the jar. Mm -hmm. We'll find out how we do them. Kind of cool. That is pretty straight. Somebody's a handyman around here, huh? Why do we have a picture of pink on our wall? Oh, <laughs> I just like the composition. Does her jacket say bitch? Bad girl. No, it's an inside joke. You don't understand. They, they all goof around. Oh, and look at this. This place is really turning into a living room. Peter, that's the same photo. No, it's not. It's much smaller. Look how cool that is. You see, it's not just dyed. It's greased back on the side. So it's almost like two different haircuts. Don't you know that I'm a bad girl? It's got a nail in her ear. <laughs> Pretty scary. Hey. hey! Welcome home. You're back just in time for your birthday. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, so. Yeah? Um, I was thinking about how much music has shaped your life. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get you a birthday present okay. that captures your love of music. I hope you didn't do anything crazy like get me a fancy guitar, because I do not need that. OK, so follow me into oh. the house. Okay. Welcome to your new home. What? Hold on a second. I think you might need a backstage pass to get in here. Let me check it out. All right, you're good. Come on. <laughs> Seriously, 
What did you do with our real furniture, like our nice mid-century furniture? Well, I gave some up to your sister, and then I put the rest out on the lawn with the sinuses free. That stuff was expensive. Yeah, it went so fast. They loved it. What is that thing? Do you like it? What is it? That's a woman playing guitar. How can you tell that's a woman? Because well, she's singing a sad song about her own life. You guys look identical. Come on. Go stand next to it. Identical? You know, when your hair is forward and your mouth is like, and you're playing guitar. That's not how I look when I play guitar or when I just stand up. Look around. here, shake it a little bit. Shake what? Shake the, shake the sculpture. Look at you rocking out. Look at the shoes, your flat shoes, and how your right foot comes up and when you're stomping. There's nothing about this that looks like but me. that is your guitar. Why is it still moving? It goes on for ages. Who is your favorite female musician or singer? Uh, Patti Smith. Okay, someone else. Um, Nina Simone. No. Um, Cindy Wilson from the B-52s. Okay, not in your top 10. I, I give up. Okay, ready? Turn around. Chrissy Hind. Chrissy Hind. It's so big. Is it? Is it permanent? Yeah, it's permanent, like a rock tattoo. Why does it say, of the pretenders? Chrissy Hind is of the pretenders. She's in the band. I know. You know that, right? Do you not know that? I do know that. Carrie, how about your own roadie that we have in the house? This is Kurt. Hey. He's gonna open that for you. There you go. I got a set list for him. Set list. You got uh, 15 minutes to show. Are you being paid? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. And you're paying him. Thanks. Here is the finale of it all. Are you ready? Not really, but. Here we go. This is a venue bathroom. So there's graffiti. I kind of put some toilet paper all over the place, or, or we did, just to make it, you know, have that feeling. All right, I gotta take a dump. Carry guitar. We'll give you some privacy. Thanks. What's that? Oh, I didn't tell you. That's our new doorbell. Well, that must be the pyrotechnics guy. Bike to work today. James, do you have the uh, the rollout schedule? Oh, I need a minute. I bike to work today. That's great. Oh, ah, uh, uh, is there heat on in here? I don't think so. So, yeah, do you, do you have that schedule? <laughs> I need a minute. I'm gonna go ask Chad. It is so hot. It's great. Tom, I bike to work today. <laughs> oh. Oh, maka faka. Cooperation between the retail outlets oh, and the manufacturing plants, I think, really can... Oh, we're out of water. Can you walk them through this, please? Thank you. This is sweat, right? I guess. Didn't you also bike to work today? Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Hey, there's cupcakes over in the... Do you mind giving me a hand in here? I'm really desperate. I sure, I, I can help. I, I've been licking stamps all day long, and I am dry. The mailman comes at 5 o'clock, and if these aren't ready, I'm fired. I, I really could use your moisture. Like my sweat? Yeah. Sure. I rode my bike to work today. Oh, yeah, I can tell. It's like a pretty good route. It's only like 40 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're pretty healthy, huh? Yeah. Thank you. So what are we doing today? Partial highlights? Bob? The A-line? I was actually thinking 
Maybe something like this. Oh my God. It takes my breath away. It's beautiful. Agreed. Totally agreed. Yep. Yep. You, you. Great look. so pretty just beautiful stunning nine hundred dollars well it's worth it I, I guess we don't come cheap <laughs> here you go oh what's this for tips are customary cash is preferred oh okay oh but why are there three oh, they're for my stylists actually oh luckily I have three dollars so <laughs> well that works out perfect well <laughs> thank you so much it's my pleasure Sorry I didn't catch everyone's name. Please enjoy the dollar bill I gave each of you. There you go. I mean, I'm just so embarrassed. I must have like smooshed it with my purse strap. It happens. Here you go. Oh, but I already tipped you. Tips are customary, cash preferred. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. That's so cute. Peter, I have a surprise. Peter? Hun? Our book is for sale. She said, she said. Hi, we're selling our book. Excuse me, you can't just use our garbage like that. We're not a receptacle for your stick. Oh, I know. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes, 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 yes. Not my problem. There's something for a memoir. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Sure, I'm sure I'm good person. And I am George St. Eagland. Did you throw something away into our wicker basket? Yes, trash recognizes trash. It was in someone's mouth. And by the way, I'm Candace. And I'm Tony. We're from Women and Women First. It's a feminist bookstore. You both look dynamite. Watch your tongue. You both look dynamite. Thank you. What's that you're holding? This is our book, She Said, She Said. It's our memoir. We wrote it together. Oh, uh, She see. Said, She Said. Could we hear an excerpt from it? Sure. Absolutely. Was Where I ready to hear that? A I'd bridge that think collapses. About another career. A bridge that becomes I'd something that even greater. Before. A tower. In my mind, everything hit. A tower with fire. Stop right there. It's gorgeous. It's a hit. It's simply glamorous. What are you selling? What is that? It's Wicker, oh, baby. It's Wicker. It's a Wicker Wallace. This is a Wicker Wallace. This is a Wicker Wonderland. Where are you from? I don't understand. New York City. Ever heard of it? We're here to help a friend. Uh, what's the legal way to say this? We're here to assist in a suicide. We will be present at and complicit in an illegal suicide. It's legal here. Physicians assisted suicide. But this one is going to be illegal. There's no MD on site. You're not doctors? We are not doctors, but I have a doctorate in fun. Candace, I was scared of these wicker men at first, but I feel like it's incredibly brave for them to come here and help a friend pass on. Would you ladies be interested in maybe reading from your book as Len passes? Do you want to do it? What do you what think, do you think they're saying? Do? What do you think? Of course, saying. it would be honored. We would be honored. Tentative lineup. 6 p.m. We have a sun check. Okay. Yeah. I, what do you think? We're gonna make six. Load in at six. We'll load in at six. And is the death the finale? We're gonna give him a Viking funeral. <gasps> I'm gonna burn his house down when we're done. Let's go. Oh, and ladies, it's a surprise party. Len's in good health. He has no idea we're gonna murder him. Ten dollars, please. Credit card? Thank you. 
Thanks for coming, everyone. We've got to do something. Cash is going extinct. People are not using dollar bills anymore, and it's affecting our livelihood. It's affecting our way of life. Yeah. Okay. Bellhops, valets, newsies. Somebody slipped a personal check into my G-string last night. Come on, that's an anti-tip. Because what are you supposed to do with that? Nothing. Remember when money meant something, right? It was tactile. Putting a $5 bill into a birthday card. What is a card from grandma without a little cash? Nothing. How can we make cash relevant again? Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes. Woo. What if we made cash rectangular and made out of hard plastic? Like a credit card. No. And it's got your name, you know, like your name on it. There's a little strip on the back. And that is your cash. This is my $20 cash. Well, that's a credit card. Does it have a chip? It has a chip. It has a chip. That's a f credit card, dude. It's I'm not because you don't owe the bank anything, but you pay a percentage. But it's not cash if it's a small plastic card with a strip, a three-digit code, your name on it, and a percentage that you pay. What, what am I doing wrong? Am I not explaining it right? What if they added a smell to it? I like that. Cherry, strawberry, scratch and sniff, right? So your wallet smells good. What if we bring back wishing wells that your wishes do come true? Let's bring that back. Okay, Walt Disney. Let's use the imagination of the child and he could have a world of his own where Goofy and Pluto live in a magic castle. What you're suggesting is, is more than just a monetary system. You're actually suggesting an amusement park. That takes cash only. DM. Hey, it's John Corbett. Oh. Whoa, hi, John Corbett. Lucky dude, what's his deal? That's my Petey. We've been together for 12 years. That's not your brother? LOL. Don't mind you're already in a thing. It's sweet. Need to meet you IRL. Coffee. I've um, never eaten shrimp that looks like that. These aren't shrimp. These are langoustine. Very expensive. Just smell it. So, do you do this a lot? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. <sighs> My middle name's Avalon. Does your husband know you're here? He hasn't really been paying that much attention to me. Oh, I would never lose track of you. Nance, I got all the ingredients for Pink's favorite recipe. Nance, nice big yams, just the way you like them. Nance, where'd you go? Looks like pinks. I love it. Where were you? I was really worried. I had to drink a whole mug of sleepy time tea just to fall asleep. Well, I went on a 
a date. With who? He's an actor. His name's John Corbett. Oh, yeah. And Peter, I fooled around with him. Well, what'd you do? The, the usual. Did he climax? Peter, you know how I am in bed. Of course he did. It was, there was no penetration. Did you climax? I did not, so. Oh, we're, we're in good shape. I feel terrible, and I think what's put me in this mindset is your whole thing with pink. Could you unfollow her and unlike her photos and take down that picture of her that's hanging on her wall? Anything for you. Thanks, honey. I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll take down the picture. It's John. I should block him. Yeah. Huh. Whoa. Hey. Headlines this morning. Corporations dodge billions in taxes through loophole. Hey, hey, good morning. Hey. Looks like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders there. Who doesn't right now? I don't. How? Well, it's kind of like letting go. But Fred, this is the time. We're supposed to participate. We're supposed to step up. No, just try to stop understanding what's wrong, what's right. The less you care, the happier you'll be. Top 25 reasons to be outraged this week. Ask Skippy. There you go. Walk yourself. It is nice and creaky. Yeah. Can you believe all this food? I, I love it. It's so good. Although, I don't know if I like good food better than bad food, honestly. <gasps> Who throws out cupcakes? Uh, I say let's take some of this home. Uh, do we need a doggy bag? Let's just take the whole can home, baby. Let's just take it. Yeah. All right, ready? Yep. Uh, uh, you're not pushing. Are we pushing or pulling? I'm pushing. I'm pulling. We're rats. This thing is enormous. Uh, looks like you're pretending to push. Really no, push pull, it. pull. <laughs> Jacqueline? Yes. You didn't pull in the garbage can, did you? I did not. 
can't find it. Maybe it rolled down the street or something? It wasn't windy or anything, was it? What if one of the neighbors took it? <laughs> oh, yeah. See anything? I see a bicycle and a cooler. No trash can. Anything, Vince? No, I just see a rake, some gardening tools. Why don't we just get another one from the sanitation department? Vince, we, we have to solve this. Excuse me. Uh, have you noticed anything strange recently? Anything uh, weird? No. What about this house, Vince? Why is that fence so high and obscuring? It's like they, maybe they take things and hide them? Like our trash can. Well, I like this part of town. Yeah, good neighborhood. There we go. So it's a studio, uh, plenty of room, little kitchenette area. Mm -hmm. Is there a bathroom? Uh, yes, right. Ooh. How much is this place? 1500 a month. <laughs> it just seems like a lot for this small space. Totally understandable. Uh, let's see. I've got another option. Which neighborhood? Any neighborhood you like. Okay. Yes, your neighborhood. Okay? I got you. What do you think? Oh, the car. Uh-huh. So what would you consider this? Is it like, like bedroom, bathroom-wise? One bedroom. One living room. This would be the living room. And your, your bed. And then when you sleep, you just... You know, you could nod off. And then, you know, and then when someone asks you to move, you sort of... Just look at this, look how modern. Mmm, we're in the future. Is there a kitchen? Yes, so this, see this um, cup holder? You could put your coffee in there and put your store, if you buy a sandwich, you could put it here or a burrito. People are buying burritos these days. No uh, alcohol on the premises. Very, very important. All right. Remember, your house can kill people. Let's show you the rest. Well, here's something that's really nice. We have a little outdoor shower. Come on! I, I get it. <laughs> but a small, like, stream of water. That... It, there's windshield wiper fluid in it as well. So the soap is mixed in? The soap is mixed in. All right. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I like it. It's up to you. And we've got plenty of closet space. You can hang up your clothes there and right over here. And then we've got entertainment. Whoa. <laughs> it's a little awkward looking. Because it's a romance. It feels like an invasion of privacy. Look at that. Crystal clear, really nice, huge screen. Oh, it's very clear. Do you want me to change it? Can you? Yeah. Oh, I love Wachowski movies. I think I'm gonna move to a cheaper city. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good to see you. Hi, baby. Do you remember me? I'm your I'm your doctor. Can you say pediatrician? Pediatri no, he's not gonna say it. He looks great. I, I look at his chart and mm -hmm. he's Weight is great, and he's feeding well. Yeah. It's all positive news. Um, I'm gonna see you one more time when you're 21, and then that's it. We do have one little bit of worry. Yeah. What's wrong? He's not doing any bits. Like comedy bits? Mm hmm I, I saw him one time a baby do a stick him up thing, but he doesn't right. do it. Like, stick him up. Stick him up. Has he, does he do accents? We tried. Scotland. Scottish, baby. How is he with pro props, as you can tell? No prop work. Hello? <laughs> oh, it's for you. I mean, you know, there's no. Let's see how he responds to jokes, mm -hmm. all right? I just went on a pleasure trip. I took my mother in law to the airport. Maybe it's too old a reference, or. How does he compare to other kids his age? Everyone's different, everyone develops differently. Like, look at this baby. <laughs> You have to laugh at this. He's now like a wise, wise acre type. Mm -hmm. He's like saying, if you think this food's bad, check out what my brother's eating. It can go the other way, too. This baby, the parents are scared. This is what I call kitchen sink humor, because the baby does so much shtick. He's a clown. The clown, and you don't want a clown. I would be lying if I said I wasn't concerned. Mm -hmm. I am a little concerned. What do you recommend, doctor? You know what? Maybe I'm old school. Gum. I'd like to see a baby like that chew some gum as much gum as he can fit in, and then go a little more. 
Now he's got gum in his, in his cheeks. Three months from now, he's doing a Godfather impression. No, I don't have a dollar. I'm a cop. <laughs> You're a cop? Yes. They redesigned our uniforms. <laughs> Gotta get you guys to move on. Ah, uh, you're just pushing us around. Hmm? I no. don't care. Well, yeah, we'll move on. How am I gonna get this up? There? No, man, just leave it. it. Sounds like trash. Aw. I can. Okay, sweetheart, tuck in. Here we go. It's a good girl. Get Mr. Bear. So, Madeline, we are gonna try something a little different tonight, okay? We are gonna try sleeping with the lights off. You're old enough to be very, very brave. If you can't sleep, I want you just to grab your colors, coloring books, okay? Do some coloring, all right? You're okay. a good girl. Good girl. Night, night. <laughs> anything. It's hard to see with all the bushes and trees. There. Do you see our trash can? Oh, we have a grill. Should we get a grill? Mom! Honey, honey. Whoa. Oh, hi. What's going on? I saw something. There's two of them. I think they're monsters. I've never seen anything like it. Okay, it like okay. Two right, of Madeline, them. Madeline, lie down, lie down. What did I say? If you felt afraid, what should you do? Color. Did you color? No. Okay, well then there you go. Color me a nice, beautiful picture, okay? I saw You're something. You're so brave. Mm, you are the bravest. Mm. Night, night, sweetheart. I like those windows up there. You know, it reminds me of that necklace I had. It was just like, like that. Oh, the tight one. Yeah, it was like that. Dark. Maybe we should just, if we could just see into the yard, I'm just gonna use the lights on my phone. We could... Oh, that's a great idea. Oh my gosh, she slept in. Oh my goodness. Honey, rise and shine, sweetheart. Honey. Is... Oh my gosh. What a... <laughs> Honey. We'll get her a nightlight. Thank you so much for coming in to talk to us about your job. We appreciate it. All right, you guys. Next up, we have two people who some would call 
entrepreneurs. So give it up for Fred and Carrie. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome. Thanks. So happy Hello to there. have you. Hi. Hey everyone. We work in something called the gig economy. You guys know about being self-employed? Yeah, so some people call this the gig economy or the sharing economy. We're kind of like digital nomads. Okay, you want to write that down? Digital nomads? There is an app called Lifer. A job comes in on the app and I do things like drive people to work or pick people up from a bar and take them home. Or, or deliver food. And whatever the app tells us to do, we do. Yeah, I'm my own boss, but also this is kind of my boss too. Hi, you have a question. Does Lifer pay for your gas? Nope, Lifer does not pay for my gas. I pay for my own gas because I'm a grown up, I'm an adult. Any questions? Yes. How many hours a day do you work? I love this question. How many hours a day? 20? 22? Yeah, it's awesome because we make our own hours. You're raising your hand a lot. What will happen when there's self-driving cars? We'll still have a job because the self-driving car will pull up to a house, but someone still needs to get out of the car and bring the pad thai to the door. Sorry. You're getting the same one me. Oh, look at this address. That's here, isn't it? Who's ordering pizza? Oh, you, you ordered pizza? Oh, well, we're gonna have to go get it. I am gonna run out and get you guys some pizzas. Thank I'll you. be right Thank back. Thank you for coming right. Instead for of sharing. Thanks. Thank you. All right, guys. Next up, we have a gentleman who writes recaps for TV shows online. Oh, look, Tuck and Petty just wrote an email. Need a loan, automatic payment, sex. Click link for need. Nah, -uh. don't click on it, Peter. Why not? They clearly got hacked. Our friends are asking us to click a link for need. That's the worst thing we could do, Peter. I mean, someone, someone worked really hard. You've got to create a link. You've got to you put it in the body of an email. It's a lot of hard work, and we're just ignoring it. Peter? All right. Nance, how come we never get hacked? I don't know, hun. Maybe they just think we're boring. If we get hacked, what do you, what do you think they'll find? Well, you've taken all those photos of the scones you love eating. Yeah, but don't they, don't, 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 they, don't they want something more exciting? Like what, Peter? You know, like new, new, you know. For what? N naked nudie pics. A I, naked noodle Peter. Yeah. No, I don't think it's about nudes. If, if, if they uncover a picture of my, 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 my pud or my thigh, or, <laughs> this way, at least it's something that's... Excited, that's what they're looking for. I don't want to waste, waste their time. We want these to be, to be the kind of pictures that people who love pornography, even they'll say, this is too much for me. Heavy nudity. Yeah, we want the kind of photos where someone looks at them and, and, and they say out loud, jackpot. Mm -hmm. <sighs> should, should I smile, Nance? We're gonna find these. Maybe we'll act like we don't want. They're gonna need a bigger lens. What's wrong, Peter? Well, it's, I'm just, it's just frustrating because we, we still ha haven't been hacked. Well, Peter, the hackers are busy. You know, they have the whole world to hack. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm just being selfish. I just maybe there's some way we could help them or something. You know, maybe there is something we could do. Oh, damn. It looks like Peter and Nance got hacked. Ooh. Hey! Cap, trash can, starboard. Okay, bring it in. my wife. Nance, I'm right here by this black garbage can. I'm Bryce. I know. You're Lisa. Are you okay? Uh, Hold up. I'm stopping. That means I'm stopped. No, Bicycle rights. It's a point. No Olympics in Portland! No Olympics in Portland! Oh, All right, lean with me. 
We're getting pretty good at this. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what do we do with this? Does this stay with the house? Uh, no, we just put it on the bike. Does it even belong to her? Yeah, let's take it. All right. Where does this trash can go? That one? I think it's this one. What was this house? Are you sure? Wait, now I'm confused. Well, it's got a skull on it. Probably goes to the scary house. What is it? Jacqueline, when did our garbage can go missing? Do you remember that? Right, it was it was before Lugosi was born. It must have been eight years ago. I think this is it. No. It's gotta be because there's the skull and remember we painted it on the side? That's exactly it. That's so strange. How would it get back here? It's been so long. It's alive as we are dead. Farewell, Bin. May your spirit as the undead roll around the world for eternity. You roamed around the city and the people came and they threw more trash into you and your burden grew heavier. I have to do a quick thing for the family, sorry. <laughs> I guess there really is no good way to say goodbye after all these years. So we wish you the best. Uh-huh. So that's just for the nose job. Oh, cheeks as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that seems more reasonable. All right, I'll call you back. Thank you. Hey, Sam. Sir? You want to talk to me about? Uh, the marathon. The Portland Marathon is this weekend. Awesome. You know, I love a marathon. Starting with the logo for the race, you'll oh. see the runner and the globe, because we're a global city. I love it. Yeah. For those that finish the race, they get this coin. <gasps> oh, I love a novelty coin. And just the last little detail here is the route. Hate it. What? Everything else you brought me filled me with excitement. But this, this. I mean, from a bird's eye view, it looks like a soggy cereal flake. No, 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 let's forget this amorphous shape and let's give the city a route they can really appreciate. Let's make the route a blooming rose. Tony, I don't understand. You're just gonna leave me all alone here in Portland? Why? Candace, I'm just gone for a few days. You're gonna be fine. I'm not gonna be fine. You're gonna miss me? I'm gonna think about you every second of every minute of every hour of every single day, Tony. That is really scary and very sweet, but try to focus on something else, okay? Bye. Bye, Tony. Bye. Goodbye. <gasps> oh, hi. Dolly, you're Dolly? Candice. You're my new best friend. Welcome. You look a little bit different from your Airbnb profile photo. Oh, that's Kate Blanchett. No, my sister told me that she didn't live in Portland. Well, your sister's a stupid idiot. Come on. You've got wheels on that, right? Y yes. This is so lovely. Thank you so much for letting me stay here. It's my pleasure. I can't wait to share my life with you and to become entwined with you at every level. Well, I'll just, just be here for a week. Okay. You really are fit, aren't you? How do you stay in shape to run these marathons? And what I do is really just focus on being positive and then I just see running as an extension of my optimism. Like all of life, I just relish it. Wow, that's fascinating. The only thing I'm positive about mm. is how dumb 1,000% of human beings are. I'm telling you, if I didn't carry so much hate in my heart for humanity, I'd be dead. It gives me a reason to wake up. I don't really see, see the use in anger. I, I like to see the good. I just want to take wallpaper paste and gift wrapping paper and just put it over everyone's face. Don't you ever feel like that? No. Well, let me poison and corrupt you. Less than five horrific things have happened in the last 24 hours. Oh, I know. It's so stressful. Look at my skin. I know. Me too. Stress. <laughs> Long distance running shown to alleviate stress. Did you read this? Yeah, I saw it earlier. Huh. Hey, isn't the Portland Marathon coming up? I think so. What if we tried that? Yeah, we could. I don't know if we could just jump into that. We might need like a trainer. Definitely. All right, I can look one up. I just, uh, I really need to pop this at first. Sure. Ow. Ow. There you go, Sam. 
just the way you like it. Thank you, sir. Now, in order to complete the Rose Route, we're going to need to close down Mohawk Street between Columbia and Lombard. We're also going to need... Look, look, I'm sure we can all agree how creative and beautiful a rose-shaped running route is. Yes. But in order for you to gain access, we're going to have to get something in return. This is a quid pro quo situation, sir. Ah, yeah. Look, they're building this monstrosity right in our backyard. The neighborhood doesn't need another condo. Lose this, and you'll get the access to the streets for your marathon. Deal. We would be losing a lot of brunch business. What if we diverted a block over to Michigan? If you stop this construction, I think Michigan would work. They say it depends on who the trailblazers are playing. Uh, it's going to be hard to get tickets for Golden State, but definitely for Sacramento. We'll take the Blazers tickets, and there's this big apartment complex going in on Williams. No more condos. You got it. Damn, this is great. Good morning. Who wants a little delicious breakfast? Sally? Isn't it kind of early for a game of hide and seek? Dolly! Dolly! Your breakfast is ready! Dolly! It's me, Candace, your best friend. Oh. Okay. Let's start off real simple. How about a, uh, just a jog in place? Okay, ready, go! Okay, great, 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 great. I'm gonna be honest with you. Carrie, you have a natural runner's gait. I mean, you look like a gazelle when you move, and I see a lot of potential in you. Fred, I don't think that running is for you, so I encourage you to just take the whole idea of personal fitness and just throw it out the window. Cool, thank you. So, what I like to do with new clients is just see what your fitness goals are. I guess we've just become news junkies, mm. basically, and it's very stressful. So we're looking to get in shape, but also to try to find something else to focus on, aside from the news. And we were thinking that we could work up to running the Portland Marathon. Mm hmm Well, I think that with enough hard work and one-on-one -on -one time, Carrie, mm -hmm. I could get you there. That's great. And me too? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. One thing you should know about us is that we don't love sustained physical activity. That is actually really common. So how do people run marathons then? Um, have you ever had a runner's high? No. Well, if you push yourself hard enough mm -hmm. and long enough, the bond just takes you to a whole other place. And all those feelings of stress, pain, worry, all those distractions, they just start to melt away with every bead of sweat. And you know what's left? Magic. I want that. I want to give it to you. <gasps> what? Turkey. It's dead. Whoa, the whole country? Oh no, a turkey. I am so sorry, I oh. alarmed everybody. A turkey is dead. Just one more piece of the puzzle, Sam. This bridge completes the Rose Route. Now, <clears throat> we are prepared to offer... There's only one thing I really want. Anything, anything, just ask. How about you stop building ugly condos in my sight line? Morrison Bridge is yours. Hey, Candice, oh my God, that's the most brilliant loop to run over that way. Have you done it? Do you know how long I've been looking for you? I made you breakfast oh. out of the goodness of my own budget, with my hands. Do you think I enjoy making breakfast for other people? No. I do, but honey, when you say you're gonna be there, you have to be there. I'm, I'm really sorry if I've upset you. I just, um, I train in the mornings, but I if you wanted to, we could hang out this evening. I have to get up early in the morning since there's the marathon, but I'm so sorry. Apology accepted. I've got to have a shower. Are we friends? We are best friends. Okay. But I enjoy being angry. So you can go in inside, shower, do whatever you need, but I'm just going to yell at an imaginary you. OK, lovely. As a guest? Oh, and you, prancing around like you're the queen of the world? Oh, you're not. No. Candace, I'm so sorry. Where are the towels? The, the blue cabinet. Oh, OK, thanks. Do I look like I'm smiling? Ha! Up, up. Good, good. Looking good, Care Bear. Thank you. Hey, Bailey, 
I'm not getting that runner's high. I was thinking I'd love the feeling of not running anymore and just looking at my phone. Yeah, do whatever you want, pal. Hey, Carrie, how are you feeling? It's from here. It's looking good. It's all working. I don't have the runner's high, but yeah, I feel I feel great. All right, well, let me know if you want some champagne. Yeah, maybe. It's high in sugar, <laughs> but it's half a cheat day. You burned it. Oh, wow, OK. <laughs> cool. You know, if you wanted, I could put an extra inch or two on your glutes. Oh, really? Yeah. So we could start today. Let's. Good. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's me and you. All right. God, you look so graceful. Hey, I'm working out. Two blocks on Sandy. Wow. Okay. All right, then. Well, the Portland Rose Route, Sam. We did it. Wow. <laughs> I hope you like your dinner. Yes, I've never had bread crusted ravioli filled with pasta and with potatoes on the side before. Thank you. I heard that runners need their carbs. Mm. I have a fun idea. Mm. Let's gossip. Oh, I don't, I don't think we know the same people. Let's just dish some dirt on someone you know from home, even if I don't know them. Um, go on, anything. Shoot, go, um, do it. Uh, uh, somebody. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, one of my friends got um, divorced <gasps> two years ago. No. Was it violent? You could tell me. Was he hitting her? Goodness, no. No, they were Was she hitting him? No, absolutely not. They're still very good friends. They just got divorced. You don't have anything mean to say about anyone, do you? Nothing negative at all. Is there something wrong with you? I just, I, I don't really see the point in anger or resentment. I, I don't know how you got through life being that way. Well, I should, um, I should go to bed. I've got to get up at 5.30. I have to be long. No, no, don't worry about that. I'm up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, OK. Well, I'll be up before you. I'll oh. wake you up. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. Can I brush your hair as you go to sleep? Sleepy. Hey, there you are. Hey, whoa, what's all this stuff? I know it looks stupid, but I just figured this is gonna be like a long flight. We've got a bunch of movies on here, right? And Sully, got a couple of podcasts here, one about the opioid crisis, some news feeds on my wrist phones. Also, my heart rate's gonna be right over here, so I need you to read it for me because oh. I can't see it from here. How about you? You ready? Yeah. Hey! There you are. Hey. I was wondering where you were. How are you feeling? Well, better now that you're here. So are you ready to run with the rest of my bitches and catch that runner's high? Hey, look, I got to do my rounds, OK? But I will be back to check on you. OK. Go get him out there. Yeah. Can't wait to see you glisten. Do you have a shirt for me? No, nah, I didn't bring any more. See ya. Oh, my god. Look at you. Flex it, flex it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Portland Marathon. You're still tight. You're all tight. Yes. Well, as you can see, today we have this beautiful rose-shaped route for you to run. Well, all right. Get. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Sam. Aren't you running in the race? Uh, no, no. <laughs> the Morrison Bridge, it's out. It's canceled. What? We can't use it. No. Why? Uh, cargo ships, they, they needed access to the river. It just happened. No, 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 no. We need a bridge to complete the rose shape. What do you feel like doing today? Oh, it's the marathon, Candice. Are oh, you still going to go to that? Of course I am. You know that. What's wrong with you? <sighs> Fine. Well, I'll give you a ride to the starting line. No, I don't want anything more from you. I think that you did this on purpose. I, I think that you're bitter. I think you're nosy. And I think that you're mean. Must protect this rose. Good, good, everybody. Great stride. All right, get out there. Get out there. Go on, Roxy. Get it. Hey, did you know that rose petals are gold medals, but uh, for the heart? <laughs> That's, That's right. stupid. No, I didn't. I did totally didn't know that. No, really? God, there's so much you haven't heard of. I'm gonna take a picture of this. You can use it as a dating profile pic because you do look good, sweaty. Oh yeah. Well, I Got probably it. need one because I need to find some someone new to date, right? What? Someone break up with you, sweetie? No. What do you mean? Looking good, Saji. Yeah, like you're like two times, six timing me. 
Like, whatever. I'm stupid. You're just, I have to end this. This is, I'm moving on. No, 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 Carrie, don't move on. I need you. Right? Morrison is out. We have to change the route. Hard coming through. Have you seen Dolly? Dolly? Where are you? Excuse me. Move. I didn't even know this existed. Oh, yes. I haven't been here in a long time. A long time. Sir, sir, the runners are going to be here any minute. Let's go. What is this? Oh, you have no idea. It smells. Oh, yeah, that's her smell. We're very close. Tend to stay very long. I'm here. Oh, I know why you're here. The question remains, do you? Oh, man, this is too heavy. Let's do this. Fred, I can't, I can't go on. I definitely want to stop. But we're halfway there. Okay, well, it's gonna suck. I know, but hey, look, we're in it together, okay? Okay, okay, let's go. Dolly, it's me. I thought about what you said. I want to apologize. Turn around and look at me. Get in. No. Dolly, this is private between me and her. Dolly, I'm sorry. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, you can have the bridge. I'm just gonna need a little something in return. Let me guess. No more condos? Oh, do you know how long I've been down here, the whole city, the condo to me, Mr. Mayor? The key, now. Don't you think that it's time that we got back to how things used to be? Damn it. Sam? Step outside? Oh. I need this bridge! Stress had gone away, but I was just distracting myself. We're actually looking at each other. I know. Fred, I've got to say, I couldn't do this without you. The race? Any of it. I just want what's best for the city. Didn't you once want that too? Of course. Son, that's what we've that's what we've both wanted for centuries. We just want to keep the world the way we always remembered it. Listen, if you want access to the bridge, I require only one thing. And I think it's something that you're gonna be willing to give. <laughs> I never apologize. 
apologize. Dolly! This is a race course, ma'am. Dolly, I want to apologize. Sorry for my behavior. Do you know what? You don't have to apologize. I just ran faster than I've ever run in my whole life because I was so scared of you. Thank you, Candace. Well, I suppose I, I did do something kind for once. <laughs> do you want to go celebrate? No way. That felt great. Hey, guys. Oh, I can't believe it. We did it. Right, I'm proud of us. I am too. <laughs> Hi, bitches. Hi. You did it. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thanks. You know, I just, I just wanted to say, you did not need to lead me on or like give me false encouragement. I, I could have done this on my own. Yeah, no, Carrie, I know you could. I just thought that a little crush would help motivate you. With Fred, I could tell that he responds to being ignored. So, I just doing my job. Well, I guess I'm stupid, but I just caught real feelings. So. I'm sorry. I think you're cute, Carrie, and I really do like you when you're sweaty. But the truth is I could never date any of my clients because I'm married to the gym. Sort of cliche, right? No, really, I am married to the gym. Oh. Yeah, I, I get it now. Yeah, we're not open yet, but we're discussing it. OK, yeah, keep me posted. I will. See you around. Thanks, Bailey. Yeah, congratulations again. You're a good trainer. Yeah, really? Fred. Carrie. Mr. Mr. Mayor. How did you like the marathon? I loved it. You know what, actually, it was pretty great. And how about that shape? The route was the shape of a rose. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you didn't, oh. didn't notice that. Yeah, we're in it, so we couldn't really see it. It was really good, though. Uh, yeah. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm going to be heading out. All right. I wanted to come and say goodbye to my two favorite Portlanders. Great. Yeah, back to the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah in, in a sense. Very. Oh, my sweet Fred. <laughs> Mr. Mayor? Call me Sean. Sean? Sean. Sean. Oh. All right. You two be strong. Okay. All right. There's no going back, you know. Right or wrong. Can't go back. Where's he going? I don't know. Sean? Hey, Sean. Where are you going? Sean? Is he not hearing? Sean! Sean, where are you going? Sean! Yes, Ms. Mayor? Shall we begin? <laughs> <laughs> 